In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. In this episode, the Aldari's Ancient Grace confronts the putrid onslaught of the Death Guard. The deployment for today is Hammer and Anvil. And the mission for this battle is Take and Hold. Which means players will earn points up to a maximum limit for every objective marker they continue to hold. Our mission rule for this one is Chilling Rain, so nothing extra to think about in this battle. This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Matrix Card and Games in Reading, Heroes Corner in Chico, Hobby Badger in West Sacramento, and Sword and Board in Ukiah. Be sure to stop on by for all your 40k and hobby gaming needs. Now, the board is set and the players are ready. Welcome to Red Bluff Battle Reports. Welcome to Red Bluff Battle Reports, man. We've got a special thing for us today. I'm on stream. I'm normally over there. The producer himself. What? The, the man, the myth, the legend. Honor to finally play you here, sir. Yeah, let's go. Mason, we haven't played on in a long time, so. Yes. We're going to be. So I am bringing the Death Guard out just because I normally aren't Blood Angels and we just had him on the channel. So forgive me if I miss one or two things, but I've been doing some research. Uh, Aaron and I just played a game earlier this morning just to get me aware. Um, something I've been learning is they're not very fast, so I'm going to go with deploy teleport homers and cleanse. I'm going fixed. Tactical. Perfect, because Death Guard are a little slow to respond. So I have the list. Oh, real quick, let's get some things out of the way. First off, April 27th, we have our RTT in writing. We still have about six spots there. Check it out. May 18th, we have Iron Man in Red Bluff. If you feel it, you feel it. I'm feeling Five it. Five rounds, one day, and two hour, 45 minute rounds. And what's the prize though? That's a good little prize we got going on. Okay, we're supposed to be getting a, a nice little trophy. I don't want to spoil it yet until I get no. it in my hands, but we're going to get a nice little trophy that will display right up here and that people sign each year. So we're hopefully to do a annual thing there. Yeah, trophy. Army lists are in the description if you want to check them out. We also have our Discord link in the description. Check that out too. There's a lot of good rules discussions, hobby chat, general talk going on there. Um, also, my uh, my co-producer Sue doesn't like it because, but I just felt so happy that Wallario82 gave us our first super chat ever. It makes Wallario. me so happy. Oh, uh, thank you. Wallario. We've been doing this for four years, grinding out every week, every week. And it's just like, I got that first super chat. I don't care for one dollar, two dollars. I was just so excited. I That's was like, awesome. "We did it! Thank, we made it!" Thank you, Ilario. And we already got a chat from John Bonadelli. Says, yep. "Let's go! Let's thank go!" Thank you, thank you. And we want to thank our our most recent subscribers: Christopher Bovenkamp, T.J. Kendrick, and Kurt Tur. So, and then Mason was has been one of our super chatters. So I'll thank him. Yeah, yeah. I got to be on the top of the board. It's somewhere. mandated super chat. So uh, mandated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have anything? you'd like to throw in there um this is uh same as johnny i'm going to be a little rusty playing harlequins i've only had uh, two games with them recently just to practice for this game and um they're pretty cool but uh bear with me if i get anything who painted the harlequins uh, i just finished paint putting the purple paint on all the harlequins and uh they look really cool they look about tabletop ready still got a little work to do on them but if you guys see any of the purple models that i'm playing with they uh i painted them and then the green models were painted by uh, about ready brushworks so do you want to go you want to go top down we can look at our deployment real quick you can go over yours first sure sure so uh what i have is three fire prisms the classic and they're all behind line of sight blocking terrain because these ruins all the first floors block and the top floors do not we're using a fixed terrain layout um so this is going to be very close to what you'll be seeing at like bao lvo and other things like that this is the red bluff battle reports version so what we're going to be doing here is uh like I said, three fire prisms in the back, all behind line of sight. Theory here is to jump out, shoot, jump back in. I have uh, these, I have two void weavers, uh, three void weavers, excuse me, one, two, three, two void weavers here, one void weaver here, all behind line of sight blocking terrain, but they're really good shooters. And um, then uh, we have one Farseer to give out the auto six to one of the vehicles for the fate dice. And then um, we have the troop master, five 
five troop and a uh, sky weaver right here and that's going to be um they're really fast and they have dev wounds to the whole unit so they're really the only unit that has a major punch in the harlequin army but i'm excited to uh see how they play how about your deployment all right my deployment is um i put some nerd wings out here and i used to put them right on the objectives but then learning from um vanguard tactics and stuff like that listening because i'm part of their academy shout out vanguard tactics they're like, why do you start them on the objective? You can start them off and then just scoot them on. And if you have control something you didn't control before, I'm like, oh, cool. So then I have my Rhino here with the two five-man Plague Marines with two Biologist Putrefiers. This Rhino has the other Biologist Putrefier and the Foul Blight Spawn that gives me my fight first. These two here are my Entropy Cannon Plague Burst Crawlers. This is my one with the Plague Spitter. I got a five man with the Tallyman back here. And then I have Typhus, three Death Shrouds, and another set of Nurglings in the Deep Strike. Yep. Uh, the one thing we want to give a shout out to is Joe Pons, Zach, and then also Adam Dye, because as you know, BA is going back to fixed terrain. Yep. So we're going to modify our set because. If we had to go to a GW layout, it would cost us too much money. We got, what, 30 of these tables? Yeah. So, and, and the tables will work fine. We just need to adjust them. So they put in the, they put in the elbow grease there to really get that done. Yeah so, so, yeah. so what we're doing is with these little tiny walls here, you'll see, we're trying to interpret what GW has. So for purposes, they're four inches tall. So like we're going to say like an infantry can be blocked line to sight, but... For moving over, they're supposed to be considered two inches tall, so we're just trying to figure out how to represent that best, following kind of GW thing. So basically, if you see a model here and we're not shooting at it, it's because it's supposed to be four inches tall, but two inches for movement purposes, so we're figuring out the yep. best way to... And now I do understand why they were doing that with the crates at the tournament you went to. Okay. Yeah, because remember, you were like, oh, they block line of sight, but you can move right over them. Yeah. And that was weird, but now that's actually in the pack, so... There we go. Awesome. So let's go to the... Uh... I want to feel weird. I'm not using my green cheater dice, but... Uh -huh. What's your main concern going against Death Guard Mason? Everything. So, oh, Mortarian. And my thing I'm going to choose is worsen your ballistic skill and your weapon skill by one if you're in contagion range. Awesome. That sounds like it's good. Oh, good lord. I went to that Mason school of dice rolling. Yeah, you get it out of the, out of the dice roll every time. Harlequins, turn one. So Harlequins, turn one. I'm going to start with uh, Fate Dice. So I roll six dice before the game, and these will be dice I can use throughout the game. And I could re-roll them if I want, but those are pretty good. So I'm just going to put... I don't know if you can... Yeah, you don't need to see them. I'll just put them over here. And also at the start of the battle run is when I select my host of plagues. Awesome. So my host of plagues is... Oh yeah, another thing that I learned from Vanguard Tactics, make yourself a cheat sheet. It helps save time. The host of plagues for Mortarian. Let's get these out of here. Yes. All right, hurry. so let me think here for a second. I'm going to do the one where anyone within 12 inches of them expands the contagion range by three for this round. Okay. Okay. I don't have really any command phase stuff as far as Oh, I we each get a CP. Tell. We each get CP, which is nice. Did you roll your fate dice? I did. We got, I rolled them on camera, but they're the big casino dice, if everyone was wondering. I got a six, two fives, a four, three, and a one. So I got a little mix, a mix of them, which is nice. All right. So uh, what we're going to do here is we'll probably just pop out with one of the um, old boys here. This will be my command points here. We'll just keep track. Okay. Do you have one for your command points or you need something? I got it. I got the red up here, Perfect. but if you want to see something different, that would mm -hmm. be fine too. <gasps> what was that? Oh, your, your cards. I don't draw those. Can you cut them, please? I trust you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that. The first two. No, I'm just kidding. Behind enemy lines and capture yeah, your outpost. Before you fall. Uh, all right, this is great. So we have cleanse and investigate signals. That's great. That's great. 
So, do, 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 do. can cleanse be done the first? I guess it could. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then investigate signals in the corners. Phase, the corners. Can't do that till next turn, but I probably will keep it because I can deep strike and do that. So that's good. Um, we will do, do, do. So I can cleanse, oh, can do I have to cleanse not my own objectives? Right, right. it has to be two, the ones that no man's land, two. You get one two. for three, I think, and two for five or something. Two. That's unfortunate, but I think we can pull it off. I don't really want to do this because it exposes me and you're not supposed to expose yourself in public, but uh, we're gonna do this anyway, so. Um, hmm. I should have put more expendable units out on the board. <laughs> uh, Oh, I guess I could do that actually. So rewind. So we're gonna go back where this guy was, and we'll get out of the the uh, boat first. We'll... So three inches out, about here, and then I just need to grab five of my troops. One little pile. One little pile of troops. And. Uh... We're gonna be singing and dancing and doing all kinds of stuff. So fun, fun, the fun stuff here. Solitaire's deep striking. Um, uh, I mean, uh, strategic reserve. But the cool thing about the solitaire is it has a three-up invul save. Besides that, wait, you said you didn't have terminators, guy. Uh, three <laughs> up. And um, the really cool part to the to the solitaire, the lore behind him is that. He's one of the rare Harlequins where his soul is forfeit to Slanesh, but because his soul is forfeit, he actually took on like an almost Avatar-esque base body and uh, powers, and he that's why he's so fast and invulnerable, but when he dies, or she dies, uh, she's automatically going to be taken by Slanesh. So we're going to move this Skyweaver up here. These are going to auto-advance six. And... Um, but they uh, can not charge, I don't believe. Let me double check on that. Uh, but everything else. So, when you looked that up, what made you want to play Harlequins, Mason? What made me want to play Harlequins? Uh, well, Eldora have always been fun, but Harlequins have been in my heart since the beginning because um, I actually played them back and forth edition and that's when they were all pewter and the only thing in their army was jet bikes with these like smiling faces that you had to buy each of the smiling face pewter bodies for each bike and they were 20 bucks each Dang. so you were like a five man was like a hundred bucks for just the harlequin it was crazy but that was how that's like how forge world used to be um so he's safe he's safe-esque uh they're good so they can charge, they have assault weapons, so that means they can do the action, right? Yes. And then he moves, so they're gonna go ahead and cleanse and cleanse in the shooting phase, and then we're gonna start our, oh, uh, sorry. Well, if they charge, then they, the they, action stops. They stuff. will not charge, but they're okay. able to. Yeah, yeah. And I think that was like the big mm -hmm. thing. I'm not, I'm not as good as I used to be though. Look at this, I forgot to move them. So he's gonna move here. Make sure it's one more. Is it your back? Chain. My back, I gotta reach over there. My back. In my bag. Uh, he'll just fly here. All right, this is very, very aggressive. I don't usually play this aggressive, especially with elves. Mason said we were gonna do this stream in under two hours, so let's see what happens. I, yeah, that's how I'm gonna get the stream done in less than two hours. It's, um, okay, uh, let's get some into some shooting. So we'll start with the important stuff. Um, we will shoot all three of Yar, all all three of the um, of the uh, sheesh. I got to make sure I get this right, guys. Fire prism. Yeah, fire prism. But what's the weapon called on them? I always get that wrong. It's, it's a fire prism cannon. It's a fire prism cannon. Prism cannon. Uh, we're gonna go with the big focused lance, link fire, that puts them at six shots. And they're and we'll reroll three of these. Who are you shooting? Uh, the tank in the middle. Oh, the one with the plague spitters? Yeah, because I don't think I can actually see Mortarian because of the base of the ruin. Very cool layout, by the way. 
If you want to try it, it's Let's see. his wing may be hanging out there. No. Look at Unfortunately, it was. Close. I tried. I'm trying I, to help I you. tried to move as much as I could, though. I probably should have deployed these a little more that way, but I didn't know where Mortarian would have been because you would have probably placed Mortarian last in a real like deployment game. So yeah. it's probably like, okay, I wouldn't have normally. Let's actually, I'm dumb. I was just gonna eat him right up the middle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm doing. So uh, whoa. Okay, that's gonna be all hit. Do you have anything like sustains or anything that triggered on sixes or no? Not on this one. That's gonna be six hit. Uh, yeah, just link fire. So strength eighteen. I get to reroll three of these. Toughness ten. It's tough ten for their special ability. That was a six. Oh, thank you. All right, so that's gonna be five wounds. AP. And I guess uh, uh, fate dice are before the roll. So yes. um, go ahead. AP. Yeah. Oh, AP. Four. AP four. So five up in bolts. I fail three damage. Six each, so 18 damage. Eight? What? What? Does he blow? He does not. Okay. That? Thanks, Mason. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the stream, Johnny. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, <laughs> and then the small guns. Oh, I should have declared those first, but they were going to go here, but it's fine. I have lots, lots of small guns over here. So we're going to do the first Void Weaver. Uh, he can see Mortarian's wings. So we're going to go Void Weaver into Mortarian. Won't be able to take him down if I don't start. Does he heal every turn? No. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a bonus. So we're going to go with the focus cannon shots as well. So threes to hit. No. Uh, and then... Do, 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 do. We'll go with the small shots, like I was saying, at the uh, the plague dudes in front of me. Three, uh, that's a, gosh, Nurglings, thank you. All three of those hit, of course, all three of those win. Sixes for Nurglings. They have three, what's the damage each? Uh, two each. So kills, heavy bolters, basically. kills one and puts one on two wounds. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Um, Gosh, I feel like I shouldn't waste my fate dice on hit rolls, but I feel like I'm rolling pretty bad right now, but that's okay. I killed the tank, so. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot the uh, Void uh, Void Weaver's gun into Mortarian again. Two hits. Quit shooting Mortarian. And uh, Shrink 12. Top 12. Yes, sir. So, hmm. I will, I will make this three into a six, an auto wound, and then one I have to roll wound. So two wounds. Are they dev wounds or anything or do I get? Uh, no, they're not dev wounds. Or okay, so I get a save? Yep, it's neg three, four damage each. So four pin volts, come on. Ooh, four damage each? Four damage. So it gets five up, feel no pain? Four damage, five on field, no pain. He takes four, so he's down to 12. Okay. And then the small guns over at the Nerdlands. One dice roll, two wins. Sixes. Damage. One sustain. Uh, damage is two each. That kills him, puts one down to two. Quit shooting my Nerglings. And the last Void Weaver, same exact thing. So into Mortarian. Uh, shoot, should have, uh, I knew that was going to happen to me. Uh, no wounds, unfortunately. I already used a Fate Dice this turn. And then the three small shots, hopefully I can kill the Nerglings. No sustain that time. No wounds. Ouch. The Nerglings live? I think so. <laughs> Yep. Hey, buddy. Yep. And then um, I'd usually fire and fade back, but I can't this turn because um, I don't have two CP. So now it works. So it's your turn. Oh, and I, I got cleanse points on the board. Two or more objectives for five BP. And what's the OC on those little guys there? One each. Oh, they're going to die. Unfortunately. I'm going to try. So I do have the tally man on the board. Okay. So command phase. <laughs> Okay, time man's gonna roll seven up. I get uh, extra CP. Oh, look at that! So I get Ooh. two CP. Wow. He wants it. 
Oh, and I got a CP. So I go up to three. I'm coming in hot, Mason. You made the Nurglings upset. What do you think the Nurglings leadership is like? Like it's got to be at least a four, right? Mm, I'd say four or five. No, their leadership is an eight. What? So I gotta roll eight or higher to. They passed Battle Shock. Dang, bravery. They're cool. All right. So let's go. So I have cleanse and the what's the OC on the venom? I think it's two. Two. And it's the Sky Weaver, but yeah, you got you. Okay. Star Weaver. I even said it wrong. Star Weaver. And the OC on those bad boys is one. Okay. So I think what's the profile on these things? I've never fought one before. Like T six four pimple. He's six four pinball. Yep. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the Ryan. No, we're gonna get these guys out. So they get out three and move six. So nine gets me right there. Do you want to do anything with this unit getting out, sir? I was thinking about overwatching, but to be honest, I need my CP right now, so I'm gonna save it. I wish Fire and Fade was a reactionary move in your opponent's phase. Now that would be cool. Okay, and then these guys. I know, like GSC, I use that this uh, enhancement where I will move on to objective like this. But if someone tries to come push me off of it, if a unit moves within nine inches of that unit, I get to make a normal movement. Yeah, it's that's phantasm for us, but um, for GSC, I mean. So you can start to cleanse. You just have to control it at the end of your turn. So I'm going to put him up here. The Rhino's going to cleanse. Okay. So hopefully that won't be there at the end of my turn. We're hoping. It will not be, but... Okay, we are going to... Can I get anyone? I was waiting for Johnny to expose some characters before uh, bringing him on. So you just said we can't expose ourselves. Exposing characters so I can shoot him with my death jester. So 10... We'll move this up here. <laughs> cleanse. Okay. So that'll be my two cleanse. We're going to move the Nurgling up. He's going to deploy Teleport Homer. Perfect. And then, what are we going to do with my good old buddy here? He goes 10. I think we just put him up here and see what happens, huh? Yeah. Deploy Teleport Homer isn't one of those ones you can't do it if there's enemies within, right? Right. Yes. That's cool. That's why you take it as a fixed. Yeah. Ball. And then we need to come... What's the safe profile on this uh, Fire Prism? And how many wounds does it have? Fire Prism? Yes, sir. Three up save. Um, yep, T9, T up T9, yep, 12 wound total. Thank you. And not to mention, oh, it doesn't not have an invulse save. Oof, really wish I had fire and fade. I wish I would have went second. So I think I'm within eight inches there, right? But, can I, I can't see it, can I? No, uh, I cannot. No, I guess you can't, I'm not in the ruin. Huh. So I cannot grenade it, so that's not an option. Wait, that's not a ruin, it's two inches thing. So you can see. I know, but the, the base. The, the base still blocks. Yes, the base still blocks. blocks. That's what we're learning. Okay, we're learning this, we're learning this guys, thank you. So he can't shoot, so we're gonna dump. All the bigger guns into here, the mortar right here. Perfect. So the entropy and the heavy slugger here. Okay. And the mortar here. Okay. So mortar first. D3 plus three, so nine. D3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's a five minute, so blast. Is there any negatives to hit him or anything like that, sir? Uh, no. 
I could make it that way for one CP. Uh, what's what a hit on normally? Threes or fours? Threes, because I can see you. Yeah, I'm okay then. Okay. Oh, and you can't modify me because I'm within six of Mortarian. Of Mortarian, yeah. yeah. There you go. I forgot about that. So anything within six of Mortarian ignores modifiers. There you go. So. No need for your fancy elk tricks here. So those all hit. Beautiful. And then eight to... Eight to 12? Wait, which one? These guys right Three. here. Minus one for the... Oh wait, yeah, minus one toughness because yeah. you're in contagion well, range. it's gonna be twos regardless, right? Yep, twos. So we have... Three, four, seven, and eight, one. Two damage each. Okay. Oh, did you want to roll those, sir? I didn't know if you wanted to touch no, these. No, I don't like to touch those. I, seven. Oops. Cock there. One, two, three, four, five, die. So just the troop um, leader left. My character. Maybe more chain charges him, huh? That'd be fun. Maybe. Maybe. Um, heavy sluggers into the, whatever that thing is. So hits any negatives to hit the tank? No. Okay, so those all hit. And five to whatever that thing is. Nothing. Come on, entropy cans. Well, Both hit. Those are good rolls. Strength 10 to, you said 12? 12, so fives. Nothing. I think Mortarian's going to have to do Ooh. something here. That was close. He, and I learned Mortarian, the monster gets to fire both. So we are going to fire the... The toughness on these are nine, you said? No, six. Six. So we will fire the Rotwind here and the Lantern into your guy there. So the Lantern hits on twos. It hits, strength nine to what? So twos. Six, so threes. You got it. No, no, for this guy. Oh, why? Why are you doing that? Because it's only one shot. That's the other one's up. He's fine. He's fine. Four pinball for all the Harleys. D six plus three rot wind into the whatever that one's called. Okay. So six total. And we are going to go. So these are devastating wound lethal hits. Come on. So there's there's a lethal hit. Oh no, it hits on twos. So that works. Mortarion. And strength seven, so threes, right? Threes. So you have four at negative it's all, it's two. All in balls. Fours. So two. One damage each. Okay. And it's also a psychic attack. I don't know if you have anything special with... I don't use psychic that much. I don't think I do. Oh, oh crap. Harlequin's oh, no, I was like, where's my third plague burst card? You killed it. That's where it is. Ha-ha! <laughs> where is it? In the abyss where it belongs. Do you have an ability to fall back and shoot? Yep. You do. That's a stratagem. So it costs you money. Yeah. So... Cost me that money, money. We are going to charge now, I guess, because I can't Jesus. see anything else, I don't think. No, no, block, block. Okay. We are going to charge the squad over here into whatever the hell this thing is. Yep. It's Looks right. like we need about a five and a half. Okay. So five on the dice. And Star eight. Star Weaver gets charged. Eight. Beautiful. Did you see what Joe Pons figured out in the uh, BAO player packet? Mm -hmm. In their FAQ, you can go under the, like with <laughs> his hammerheads. Under the uh, like edges of the models. Yeah. That's funny. That's cool. They are flying. Like, I mean, technically, I think that there should be more uh, like verticality to Warhammer. Like, I don't think that Sky Star Weavers and Sky Weavers and things like that should even be able to be assaulted because they're like hundreds of feet in the air and like lore. But it's like, huh? So we're going. Why are they close enough to the ground for you to jump and hit them with an axe? It's what? like I don't know. They just like flying that high. What do you need? At six mm -hmm. or five? What do you think? Five or six? Uh. Five. They're pumps, yeah. Everyone's got super jumps. Eight. 
Hopefully we can do some damage on this thing. Oh no. I'm trying, sir. I gotta do something. Don't do it. Just leave them all on. Give me the objectile. What's so hard about that? Oh, what's the mission? Do we get points for our own objective? Take and hold. Oh yeah, that's the five, five, five thing. So up to 50. Okay. So I was gonna try and get greedy and charge more Tyrion into the fire prism and the, the Ooh, thing, but I think I'm just gonna go gosh. into the the uh because i'll be within four inches of that thing i can consolidate into it so we're just going to go with the uh, troop master well you won't be able to because if you make the charge you have to base me and you won't be able to rotate me after you base me no 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 i mean after if i kill it i'll be able to pop. oh if you kill it yeah hopefully i can kill, can kill that one guy no it's not gonna happen a I'm four pop. it's a good thing you didn't try to double charge yeah <laughs> That gets me right barely there. In base contact. So this. All right. So we go into the combat phase. So the combat phase, just checking my notes, folks, so I don't mess something up. All right. You are not, are you within six inches of an ergling? I forgot about that. Mm, it's pretty close. You are not. All right, I'm learning things. Do you have two CP to interrupt? Yep. How hard does the Star Weaver? Not very. Three okay. attacks, strength six, make one. And you have. Not enough to kill all that. Self destruct. I don't understand. How many wounds does he have? The little troop guy? Four or five. Four or five. Four or five. Not 100%. I think maybe four. He is an elf. Or she is. She she is an elf. Oh, I think I'm going with the small attacks because you're in vault. Do, 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 do. Four wins on that. I think the smart plays go with the, the bigger two, four, six, eight. So you're ten, saying there's 12, a chance. Hitting on twos. I got this. You got this, troop master. Lethal hits. Got two lethal hits. Those come out. Strength seven. To, uh, your toughness is lowered by one, so twos, right? Yep. Oh, uh, yep. And that's uh, strength seven T five now, so still threes. Well, uh, because he's normally T six. Yeah. Oh wow. Maybe I should have done the other thing. Look at me. So you have two, four, eight. Six, eight at neg one. Okay. All fours. Three taken damage. One damage each. Are you kidding me? What pain couldn't kill? Uh. All right, so now do you want to interrupt or? That was here. Yep. One wound left. <laughs> you did it. Okay. Uh, I'll. Attack here, I guess. No, no, no do you no, want you to interrupt? Interrupt, no. Okay, so I'm gonna go continue along here. Oh, she might have fights first, which means I attack now, but that don't really matter. Solitaire Just go ahead. No, there's a, I was checking troop, thank you. Solitaire's who has they can have troop master is what it is. So never mind. Uh, right here for you, Johnny. Okay, so Perfect. I am going to use, spend a CP on Sanguinous Flux, see if this is can get me something or, April. so it's, I, uh, when I'm selected to fight until the end of the phase, anyone uh, war gear equipped by models in your unit have the sustained hits one while your unit is within range of an infected objective marker you control. Those weapons have sustained hits two instead. I control it, so I get sustained hits two. Wow. And we'll put it on the web. We'll start over here. Okay. So we'll pile in, sir. Those guys are base, so we'll just shuffle these guys in. So we have three heavy plague weapons. Perfect. Plague Marines! Can we take out a... All right. These are hitting on fours, lethal hits. These are just the heavy plague weapons. Sustains hits two. So... Sustain hits two. 
strength eight. To, you said 11 or 12 or something like that, right? Uh, it's, it's six, D6. Oh, so threes. Yeah. So two wounds, sir, at neg two. Two wounds at neg two. Yep. Uh, one goes through. So two damage. damage. Perfect. Four left. Okay, and then we have the... Oh, um, he's got the four plague knives. Perfect. Again, not a hundred percent with this army yet. So twelve, four times three is twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hitting on threes. Perfect. Lethal hits. Sustained hits two. So that's a lethal hit. Nice. Sustained yeah. hits two, so these the misses up there. So no, because I have to. Oh, and I have to roll, roll them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Four to six. I need fives. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. And then I just have the the biologist peach party to go, and then the other squad. Hopefully they can do it. So two. Uh, uh, nothing. AP nothing. Yep. All right. So I actually get better save. Save. Oh, Mason. All right, the biologist Petrifier. I don't think he has anything fancy special. Four attacks, hitting on threes, sustained hits two. Nice. Take that one miss, add that, perfect. So these are fives now. Very cool. Nice. So two, add nothing. Add nothing. Uh, uh, one damage. One. One. Three left. Okay, do you want to... No more arrows? We'll pile those guys in and do the same thing. I just don't have sustained hits, too. Okay. So, three heavy plague weapons. These are the ones that are get you. Threes. They're get me, I mean. Not get you. They're, these are lethal hits, though, still. Very cool. So, bam. Not a lot of hits, but... So, you got three. They go two, I do believe. Four is then. Dead. Perfect. Does it blow? That'd be cool. No. Very nice. Very nice. We cleared the objective. And so I'm going to do the thing where they can consolidate back onto the objective because I don't want to. Now you get a hit back with your troop master. Yes, my troop master. I believe she has five attacks. Please don't hurt Mortarian. I'm trying. Let's see. Troop master. She would be cool. All right, five attacks. I remember your weapons going ballistic skill is a minus also, one. Minus one, yes, sir. You got it. Uh, she makes anything six. She has devastating ones. Okay. So threes to hit. Fours to hit? Or does she hit on twos normally? Twos normally. Dang. And then uh, she's the master. And then uh, strength four, I'm going to... Use this one as a six to auto wound that. Okay. And then two sixes would be cool. Opposite day, but one dev wound. One dev wound, uh, what's the damage? Just one. Five up, feel no pain. He feels the pain. Yes, I'd be so a shame if I spent a fate dice on no wound, but that's good. So I have a deploy in the center, and then I have two cleanses. Okay. And so. Sorry, chat. How did you think that first round went, Mr. Meeson? I think it went really well. I needed to put more damage on Mortarian than I did, but I feel like at least I have another turn to shoot at him before he really gets into the army. <laughs> so, we'll see. All right, so top of the battle round. So top of the two, I have Johnny at 16 and Mason at 15. 16? I get three for the... Uh, it's two and two apiece. No, it's three for the center for cleanse. I mean deploy. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's three for the center. They updated the card. Yeah, and then cleanse is two. I get four. Yeah. Yep, so three and four. Perfect. Okay, so I, I'm going to do the thing again, Mason, where um, three inch to my contagion range. Yeah. Because I pick it up the start of each battle round. So now it's six? No, no. It's, yeah, it's, it's nine. nine, yeah. So now it's nine. Perfect. So I'll have to move away. Do not be nine. For anything within 12 of him, everything else is six. 12. So anything within 12 of him has a six, uh, nine inch bubble, and everything else has a six inch bubble. Okay. What are your objectives if you're on mission? Um, so I still have investigate signals. 
and we pull behind enemy lines, which is perfect. Okay, so um, we're gonna start the movement phase out with a fallback, hopefully. Uh, ooh, seven. He has one wound left. One wound left, yeah. Should I, should I try and overwatch him? He could. I mean, it would kill him. It's not like he's so important. Because can you you can't bring models back or anything like that, right? No, 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 no. But he could. Work. I need to kill more Tarion. How many primary do you have? Uh, oh, just the five. Well, oh, oh, you got to battle shock him, don't you? Oh yes. And then if he battle shocks, I don't know. Kill it now. He's oh, he's good. Shot. Okay. Um. So it's nine inches from these right now? No, those ones are only six, because yeah. they're not within 12 of Mortarian. But Mortarian's nine? Or Mortarian's nine, okay. this is nine. Oh wait, that's, Nurglings don't have it. This is nine, and that's nine. Got it. Easy, 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 easy. We got back here. No. Wide open space. Wide open spaces. Okay. The only thing I understand about Death Guard is go forward slowly. <laughs> All right, so he'll move back just to get me some space, but keep on the objective. He'll link fire again. And just something I learned is Typhus's ability does ignore Lone Op. Just... Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. He'll get ready to jump inside the building. Oh, and I'm at three CP now. You get your Oh yeah, I go to three, yeah. I'm on three. Uh, you should be at four, Johnny. I spent one. Yeah, you spent one. On Sanguis Flex or whatever the heck it's called. How do you know when you spend a CB? I did. Yeah, we're, uh... We were on the objective. Man, I am getting my butt kicked. All right, and then uh, as far as primary. Sorry, guys. I don't mean, like, butt kicked. Like, we're, oh. we're killing about the same amount. It's just uh, I'm uh, pl Death Guard play really good early primary. So you, you just got to kill them real quick, and then you're not. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully kill them. So I moved them back so I could get line of sight here. Well, he's behind the rune. Remember that? Oh, that little rune. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's messing me up. Yeah, I forgot So, yeah, if you want to move that back, go ahead. No, no, yeah. Maybe I will. But just like I couldn't shoot your one through that square. No, totally, totally. I just, the little squares are throwing me off. That's all. That's why, we're, guys, we're practicing with this new layout because... It'd be cool to have something taller if they are going to block infinitely high because it's kind of weird. Um, it's just like all the GW squares, too, block the full thing, and they have little ones on there, too, like pipes and stuff. Well, they have little rune walls, but they're, yeah. like, actually, like, about that tall. We're testing, sir. I got to yeah. print more stuff. Um, okay, so that guy's basically protected. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just fall straight back and then just keep firing down the middle then. Wow, this is kind of weird. I'll move him over a little. Put him here. Kind of weird. That's why I was like, I can't throw my grenades like I want. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, so those do block. That's good. So at least obscuring still around. I think that's good for the game. Um, you plan on hosing Mortarian? The fire prisms? Uh, yeah. And, and, then, and then him behind him. If, Remember if, they have to be able to see each other to shoot. Yeah. With the, the buildings you can't. Uh, the link fire? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, uh, well, last turn they had this little thing. Well, it's because these in the ruins, so all I have to do is poke slightly out. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess I could just do that. The little tip. But now they can all see each other. Yeah, they're fine. Um, actually, I think they're fine where they were, because I think, yeah, my back wing to back wing here can see each other, because I'm actually in the room. Cool. Dice cam got knocked. <gasps> back, back With my head. Okay, uh, now we'll come in from reserve. Where are my characters on the board here? Characters here? Characters? Oh, my characters are the two biologist putrefiers. Perfect. The tally man's in the back with the other squad right here, sir. Right here. There's a tally man back okay. there. And then there's two more in the rhino, sir. Oh, in Mortarian. Okay. 
Oh, look, he's investigating signals. Investigating all my signals, make sure that nothing gets left out, you know? These guys are kind of slap, slap jaws. You're not going to fire at me? Put this over here. Not with these. <laughs> um, and then the two characters. So I could probably investigate every signal because there's no cap on that, right? Nope, you get two, so that gives you a total of eight. So he can go back in. Uh, this is our fancy deep strike box. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kills 99% of the time. Right. And so this is allowed now with the new turn set up? We've never been asked that. I don't know. I don't know because it would be overhanging. See, because it's supposed uh, to be no overhanging. Overhanging yes. levels. Yes. Thank you. But you could put them up there if you wanted. Yeah. He's in, I, not really, because you're close. Put him right there. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, I'll probably just put him back here and try to snipe a character. <gasps> I wouldn't. It would be cooler if I had assassination. Hmm. No, 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 no. I got this. I'm going to place him on the objective. He's a lone op, so he's good to capture for the lone objective in case. And I'll just shoot Mortarian first with him and try to put some wounds. <gasps> All right, so I'm investigating every single signal. Well, that's not a good place, probably. Um, all right, so. Behind enemy lines is complete. Investigate signals incomplete. So I'm probably, I'm gonna get five plus eight. So that's 13 right there, right? Shoosh. Uh, and then we'll start the shooting phase with the Reaper. He is going to shoot into Martarian. He's going to pick sustained hits for his special ability. And he is really cool because he's going to do basically always at least a couple mortal wounds is his thing. So his gun is three shots, sixes, sustained two, sustained three. Wow. So hopefully get some sixes. He doesn't. Uh, he will use the Fate Weaver's dice to make it a six. So it's going to be three, four, five hits. So five hits with the Death Jester, and then he is going to make one of these into a uh, Fate's Messenger once per turn. You can make it into a six. So make this into a six. And then the gun itself is only strength like tiny strength six so he needs sixes imagine yep you have an eldar reroll uh oh and one eldar re i haven't used my eldar reroll all game thank you thank you jay thank you jay as i look into the camera and talk to jay it's my bad so two devastatings uh four four mortals so you have the final feel no pain yes sir come on vibes wow one. wow so, not really great so so even with harley quinn you get the eldar reroll i will remember yeah i'll help you remember i'm, that. I'm eldari actually i'm not oh uh, no i know it's just part, but i yeah. just think how harlequins yeah i yeah, harlequins don't have any and dark elder. yeah and it's one hit roll one wound roll yes sir and i need to remember that because i'll help you remember now that i know a little last time ow got something in my don't eye. put your finger in your eye guy i got something in my eye um so the fusion pistol from my girl. Oh, she can't fall back and shoot unless I spent the CP. Uh, can she? Nah, I'm not going to look that up right now. Let's just see if I need it. Let's link fire into Mortarian because that didn't do what I needed it to. Uh, so you got to roll these separately, right? Because you get one reroll per tank, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So it's just you roll them individually if I want my rerolls. Got it. So first two hit. Second, miss, hit, roll that, hit, and get for wounds, so roll. Because he gets one hit and one wound reroll. One hit, one, one wound, wound yeah. And then I can also use these to all. So now re you want to roll these separately, too, because you get one. one two. It's five, yeah. So it's two, two, and one. I got him. Yep. But I'm just, uh, for the first, for the one, I get one reroll, so that would be foolish to do. So for this one, I'm going to use a fate dice to auto wound Martarian for one. Okay. And then um, this other one. Wounds. Two wounds. And then the other two. Reroll with the with the Eldar. 
One more, and then the last one. Miss, but re-roll with the... Uh, nope, so three wounds. Three wounds, AP? Uh, AP four, six damage each. Four pin molds. Oh! 18, six damage each? Two damage. Hold on, let's see here. <laughs> How much? Whoa. I'm gonna CP one of those. Good call. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> sounds like a, sounds solid. Okay, so only two go through, and it's a total of six each, so 12. Yep, 12 damage. Six. <laughs> Come on, more Tyrion. All you need to do is make three five ups. He can do it, but luckily he'll be hurt. He makes one, one, two, three. So nine, so he's on one. Nope. Yeah, right. I still have the underslungs, so I'll start there. Twin linked shirking cannon or whatever. Are those on the is. same vehicle? Yeah. So he so no reroll on those ones, right? No, no, no reroll. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. No rerolls, yeah. Yep, I'm just trying to help me. And I remember. use the fake dice too already, so uh sustained. Oh, the other gun. Nope, sustain. Shirking cannon. Three hits. Strength six. Make one. So sixes. Nothing. And then... Uh, Void Weaver. I'll put the small guns into Mortarian and the big gun into the uh, Plague Burst. Okay. Start with that one. So this is the big gun. Two ones. AP? Make three, four damage. Good. Okay. Uh, wait, Nag three would put you. You have a pinball. Oh, five of pinball. Yes, oh. on the plate burst. Yes. Okay. That's that's why I figured. I just would be six up normally. Uh, then the underslung gun sustained. One hit. Roll our reroll. Two hit. And sixes. Nope. Roll our reroll. Uh, oh wait, no, you already. No, you already, no, I already did it. But I will do. The opposite here, I'll do small gun, big gun. So big gun and Mortarian. I really need Mortarian to die, so it'll be cool. Two hit. One wound, strength. Uh, two wounds. AP on these ones? AP three. AP three, so one goes through. Four damage. Four field no pain. And then the small gun. One. Guess what I needed? A more does, he a beast. does he explode? Man, he almost did it. I'm trying my hardest over here. Play Harlequins, and Mortarian didn't want me to. Uh, the small gun at the uh, at the Nurgling. Uh, one hit. One wound. Six. Watch this. Hot. Nope. Two damage. Hit. Two damage. He did. He's heavy bolting. And then the last one. Everything into the plague bursts. Two voids, one hit, two hit with the Eldar reroll, and the wound, two wounds. Some heavy shots. AP? Four damage, AP three, you need five. So what? Eight, four damage? Yep. Another small gun, no sustain, three hits, and I need sixes. Two sixes, okay. Uh, did I use an Eldar reroll for wound yet? I do. No. Did not, thank you. Uh, two wounds, neg one. On the tank again? Yep. Two I think he starts at 12 wounds, Jesse did that. Perfect. Two? Yep. Good, right? Yep, you're good. Perfect. All right, that should be all my shooting. And, um, I didn't use my Farseer six. What a dumb dumb. <laughs> I could have literally um, the fate dice there. Okay. Yeah, you didn't use it on the... I think I turned the... Oh, I did I grab a dice and turn it into yeah, a six? Yeah. Oh, I, so I grabbed a low roll and turned yeah. it into a six. Turned that one at least I didn't... Six. At least I'm not playing like crap, guys. Hey, we're here. We're doing it. Okay, so um, we investigated every signal. And we did that. And I did not really knock you too far off primary, unfortunately. You're going to get a 15 round. But hey, that's what I'm going to be able to do right now. At least Mortarian's dead. Cool. So we'll go to points. Um, oh, let me make sure I can't charge with the troop master just because that would be cool if I could. Like, can you fall back and charge? Right. But I don't want to spend a CP on it. Oh, uh, and I do have one thing to do at the end of the shooting phase. Let me double check this. No, she can't. So we're going to just leave it there and then we'll spend two CP to fire and fade this prism.
to the building. All right, turn. We got investigate signals, eight points. We got behind enemy lines, five points. Very cool, very cool. Good game so far, but I am getting my butt kicked on primary because look at this for now. So the I control four still as of right now. Yeah. Because the Death Guard have sticky objectives. All so, of them. Yeah. So even though you killed yeah, more Terry, he, he's got that there. Um, but you can only get fifteen anyway. No, no, I know. I'm just saying because I if I can do what I want to do. Which I think I might be able to do. Perfect. Okay. So, we are going to have... So, just as we play with intent, so we know... Um, oh, get CP. So, I go up to three. I got to two. Perfect. Um, I'm going to drop my Nurglings in. And since I control it, I can cleanse it. So, I'll drop those three Nurglings in. How much more do you have in Deep Strike? Uh, I have... Uh... Nothing. Oh, so you're all you're all on? Yep. Okay, so that's everything. Um But there's troops in every vehicle. No, I know those I gotta those aren't shooters, they're troop transports. So cleanse, cleanse. I'll put one vehicle. Yeah. Well, that one's dead. Super dead. <laughs> cleanse, cleanse. Mm. What should I do here, Mason? What should I do? Can I, should I go for the points, Mason? I think, oh, well, if you want my honest opinion. Cause I'm gonna die here soon, right? Well, no, I don't, I don't. I think you should play defensively over primary because if you knock me down primary and you continue getting the cleanse and the homers like you are, you're gonna win the game regardless. So I feel, down, feel like if you just like stop me here. You are one point behind me if you stand at the top of the turn. Yeah, but that's only because, but if he knocks me another five primary, I'm gonna be in rough shape. You know what I think I'm gonna try here? How many wounds do these things have? Six. Six, and then the troops pop out? Yeah. I'm gonna hold on to Typhus for a minute. I think I got an idea here. I think I got an idea, because you can't jump out that way. So if I go at like an angle here, I think I have an idea. Tell me if I'm dumb, people. Tell me if I'm dumb. Not but, a clock in the hammer. <laughs> Tell me if I'm doing that too. I went to the Nine. I gotta go back more with that guy. I got a nice little fire base, but the problem with the fire base is that it doesn't score you points. So if he can lock down my my troops and my quick vehicles, then I'll be in bad shape. So and I still have this one here. So I can back up. I don't really need to back up. I can hit you with everything there. I can see you. Um, yeah, that's the... Well, he has sticky too, but I guess if he moves away from it, I could theoretically get onto it. I'm pretty fast, so... I know, but you could also come up behind me and make my life terrible. So we're gonna just pop up here. So I can see that one. You don't have any troops out here, right? No, I have them, so, though. So, no, I know, but the whole point is... Is it worth... Oh, I do have one thing in Deep Strike still. Remember the Solitaire. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure you know that. No, the whole thing is, it's like, why leave these Plague Marines out when I go to attack this thing? A Plague Marine's going to do nothing. Yeah. So The best part you I, have is to lock him up, but to be honest, I have a stratagem to fall back and shoot, so it's kind of like... So I'm going to hop these guys back in the Rhino. Probably a good call. Keep them safe. So we're just going to hop back in. Keep them safe. I think that's the best case scenario for them right now. Alright. And let's go for... Okay, so then what we're going to do here is... We're going to bring... Oh, I did this in reverse, Mason. I, do you mind if I change something? I did something in reverse here. Go ahead. These guys need to go over here. Okay. Because the plan was... It's totally fine. 
I messed up. Do all your movement first and then you deep strike. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to think and... Because here's my plan. I'm thinking if I get these guys out, because they go get out three, and then go six. Get out three, go six. So, because this is my plan, me. So watch this plan. Plan it up. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. Because I was told when we play on stream, we should probably talk some stuff out so people kind of know. So my plan is, he goes ten. Oh no, I already moved him up. Oh, to get line sight. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh yeah, because I need to go that way. But my plan is to come this way, and then shoot this with that, and then flame whatever comes out with that, hopefully. Nice. That could be a good plan. That's a good plan. But I'm also going to move these guys over six, just because they're sticky objectives, so... Those sticky objectives is really hard for a lot of armies to overcome, and to be honest, Harlequins is going to be one of them. Oh yeah, and I... They actually rely on you moving off of the objective towards them, and then them maneuvering around you, because they only have one OC. They're not like all the other troops in the game. I forgot to roll for the tally They OC, they're one OC, oh. so... Okay. So you have me on three CP, right, Jason? You got it. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. All right, so that's the plan here. So let's see if the plan can come to fruition, gentlemen. Awesome. So what we're going to do is they only have six wounds yeah and toughness six yep so we're gonna go it's not worth mortaring he has loan up right uh no he does not have loan up no that's my psyker he's not in a unit i just keep him for doing what does he do special for you just scores points he's got a yeah score points he got a psychic he's attack um, okay we're just gonna dump I feel like I'm going to waste it, though. You know, we're going to put... I may regret this. Entropy and Heavy and Heavy Slugger here, and we'll go Mortar here. Ooh, okay. We're going to... So, two Entropies into the... Any response to that, sir? Nope. One hit, one miss. Grain 10, so... Threes. Oh, good lord. No, the plan is falling apart! <laughs> <laughs> Those hit... Uh, one wound. Minus one. Minus one, so fours. Hit. The heavy slugger. Good. <laughs> the clam. What Mason just said? What? Jason. Mason, call in a Lysol airstrike. The Death Guard will never survive this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's a good point. Yeah. So Bleach. six Bleach to... So I need threes, I'm assuming, correct? So two at neg one. One. Yep. Um, well, I will. I just force them. One damage. <gasps> One D. Did I get him? He's dead. I got him. Part of the plan worked. I guess I could CP because I don't need fire and fate till next turn. But what if I want to fall back and shoot? What are you going to charge? Eh, I'll see. Uh, the troop. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being indecisive, guys. It's just the troop master looks so cool. I want to save him this guy over here so don't forget about him hopefully all right minded. i feel like i feel like we're gonna go mortar here okay heavy slugger and entropy here from this cannon sir okay this is the this is the this is where we're at entropy one hit threes one wound neg four, three four, four up and ball no takes him d6 plus one okay. Or four. four. Two left. Okay, the heavy sluggers. Come on, finish them off, heavy sluggers. No. Nope. Nothing, because it's straight up to six, right? Four. Uh, T6. Yeah. So nothing there. And the mortar into that thing back there. D3 plus three, so that's seven. Four, five, six, seven. D3 plus three? Yep. Recount that. D6 plus three, sorry. D6 plus three. Oh, D6. He said D3. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hitting on fours because I can't Minus see it. Minus long because you can't see it, yeah. Producer man. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, eight to six, so threes. Yep. Come on, hurt it. Four at neg one. Or neg one, so fours. All right, let's two. So, four damage. Okay, two left. Okay. 
Perfect. Let's see what we're within. I didn't want to do this, but spend a CP to grenade. CP spent for the death guard. And it's six, right? Grenade strat, six, yeah. Five, you don't get right? a four up against it. Oh, God. One! One? Really? I didn't see the roll, but you got one mortal. Oh, no, the death guard spending CP to make plays so he could kill these troops, and it's just not getting there. You could always kill the tank and charge the troops. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. So, four D6 flamers into the... <laughs> I don't have any very long range shooting in your army besides the you flamers. You want to shoot a little range into it first with their bolters? I just did grenades. They can't do both? Oh, wait, they can, can't they? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, you're correct. Holy as long as they have a grenade, they can use the strat. One model throws the grenade, right? Yeah. I oh, he, and I, I could have done... he takes nope, a shot the, Nope, he doesn't. Nope, you're, you're correct. So I have the melt gun. Let's see if the melt gun can do it. Oh, no way. I'm not allowing no, no, he's not. I'll allow it. He's oh, not. You're all the one. I'll allow it. The melt gun. Then I have <laughs> four bolt gun, three bolt guns. Mm. Can a bolt gun finish him off? Three. Three hits. No lethal hits. I needed Fives. a lethal. Fives. Two. Right. But zero. Zero. Threes. Can One at a time for for purposes. Ah. Oh my gosh, that's almost worth it. Oh, if I can waste the flamers. Uh, uh, yeah, I could command point and fate dice that and make it auto pass. So it's only a three up. I'm going for the risky biscuit. Good. All right, forty six. I'm down to one. Yep. Forty six flamers into the. Oh my gosh, that was twenty two. So happy. I would have just destroyed those harlequins. Four just six. Just at all costs. Wait. Not Ten. like they're even gonna do much. I just like Ten. having models on the board. <laughs> but sure, harlequins. They still only have one damage weapons at strength four, so it's not like they're like so good against anything Nurgle. But don't they have the fish still? Mm. Do they have multiple damage weapons? No, no, zero multiple damage weapons anymore. Yeah. Alright, so these are strength three, so I need sixes, right? Yeah. Can I just let me get oh, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Correct? One, two, three, four, five. Those would work so much better against troops. You know that, right? <laughs> I would have been nice. Four first and then maybe fake dice to be half the four. Actually, that's a good point. Threes. I uh, failed two of them. So three of them. Four. No, three. Three ones. Did he blow? No. Now, do, is this a transport? Is it just like a normal a, transport a, where a you normal. roll a one if yeah. they come out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you place them on the board, yeah. though. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Tiny little bases, though. Help me out a bit. Okay, the Plague Marine. The melt -the gun is 12 inches. Are they my melt -the guns in 12 inches? Let's see if I did this right. He's within 12 and he's within 12. Yes, so. Why you gotta make my charge all long, guy? <laughs> Trying. Okay. All right, so Mason, we got two melt -the guns from the uh because uh, then i could shoot the rhino into the troops if i could pop that do you mind if i roll the two melt the guns together sure okay nah because they're in a separate squad so melt the gun from the left squad hits wounds okay four up nope he's gonna probably d6 hurt him Ooh, I'm gonna see i'm gonna cp that because it hasn't been going well for me down to one cp Come on, do a better one. Three, okay. Work. Then we have three bolt guns. Oh, I I, for, I robbed myself of three bolt gun shots last time. I didn't realize that because it says I get two attacks each. Well, I guess I was wrong. Two bolt guns because they're like rapid fire. I, I guess so. so. <laughs> Sustained hit six. 
So those hit you. You're robbing. On fives. You're robbing. So two at nothing, sir. Same hit or lethal? Good. Lethal hit, sorry. S oh, lethal. Okay, yeah. that's like 16, 6. Now the other squad, same thing. Melt the gun. Hits. Melt the gun. Wounds. Melt the gun. Wounds, unfortunately. D6. Nice. Uh, a one. And I can't redo that. Two left. Yeah, dead. not cool enough to fake that. Looks like ball guns. Mr. Sticky objectives. Yeah, hey, I'm trying. All right. Nothing. All right. Now we're going with, I guess the rhino's got a... Sh oh, no, hold on. The rhino is... Because I'm cleansing with that, and I'm cleansing with the rhino. The rhino is not shooting because I'm not dumb. So, no, we're not shooting with the rhino. Don't be dumb, Johnny. All right. So, let's... Uh, this is sad. So sad. Let's roll it and see. We're going to go for the death shot into those guys. Okay. A four does not do it. The squad into those guys. A nine. I think they make it. Whoops. Well, what do you think, Mason? You tell me. I think I'm. I think you made it. Uh, I can't see from this angle, but I think I'm out. Oh, uh, need a producer over here. Yeah, third, third eyes, third set eyes. I, I have to say, Johnny it might be right, but it does look fit on the line. Oh, nice. No. Nope. I'm out. Nice. I I'm like out. that technique there. I that was like a good it. idea. I didn't think That's of that. That's how you do it. That's uh. a little stuff for the stream, you know? Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter. We're going to start with the left squad and just see if I even roll big enough to get there. A seven does not get me there. The right squad into that one back there. You can do it, right squad. Oh, did you also roll your ones to see for you guys getting out of the Oh, I haven't yet. Thank you. And uh, this made it. An eight? Yep. Okay. All right. Let me roll to see if those guys die inside. None do. Okay, perfect. So we're there. Yes. Oh, and he does get me there. Wow. No! Oh, no. Okay, so then we'll... Um, Something went Johnny's way this turn. That's unacceptable. Nope. And I don't think... this Because I can't shoot through here because there's no line of sight through here. So I can't shoot through there. That doesn't work for me. Yeah, the little the little fire base you have here is pretty cool, I have to say. Well, I was like, I can shoot my right, and then I'm like, no, because Joe once told me there's no shooting through there because they don't do it at GW, so. Yeah. All right, so we'll just start here. Yeah, last time I had a fire base it's called Dari, Joe Fonz came in with the Raven Wing, and yeah, it was over quick. Yeah. Cornered, cornered. Yeah, uh -huh. it can happen. Okay, so we're going to start with the... Now, this guy... Gives lethal hits and criticals on five. Okay. So, these are the heavy plague weapons. So, that's good. And then, so you have, because it's strength eight and you're only strength six, right? T6, yeah. T6, so that is uh, neg two, two damage each. So, uh, four, nine. Sorry, sir. Nine. Fours. Takes three dice? Yeah, because it's three damage, two damage. Yep. No blow. Let's roll for these now, just to be, no one dies. So I don't forget it this time. How hard do Harlequins hit in combat? Uh, everything else. Uh, Horde's pretty good, but mm -hmm. not Plague Marines. Because you're minus one ballistic skill, so you're hitting on fours then, right? Uh, hitting on uh, How fours, yeah. Skill skill uh, it's I mean, weapons and ballistic skill. skill, yeah. Yeah. Alicia says, hi. Hi, Alicia. That's my wife. Hey, Alicia. He's doing great. Looking for a victory here. All right. So now I get a pile in. Yeah, bring it in, big you boy. Over I did? Did I? 
Oh, no, my big butt did. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to lay them down. We know they're on the edge of the board because we yeah, we're good. they're very tippy. They're tippy tippy. We yep. should, we should, uh, we should put pennies. Blue pennies. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I just thought of, so I get to consolidate three to the closest, get closer to the closest enemy level. So I'm going to try and trap you in here, sir. That's the, that's the Mason thing I've learned. Fight. Um. Did it take away their being able to jump over people? No, they can still move through models okay. and... Uh, oh! Well then... <laughs> but, but you brought me into combat, which does trap me, right? Yes. I could always fall back, but... Well, if you fall back through the models, you have to take a desperate breakout, right? Not Harlequins. Oh, dang it! Because I, I have fusion uh, belts. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're hit back, sir, into my Plague Marines? Yeah. Uh, five, 10, 15... Double check. Ouchie, ouchie, ouch. Do, do, do. He brought the troops into combat. Totally respectable. Five attacks each, six for the Sarge. Five, 10, 15. Okay, and the sergeant. Let's do this. Now, does he get he gets one LR for the whole unit or for each guy that's attacking? Each unit gets one. One unit. Whole okay. Unit, one, one whole unit. Okay. Not guy model. Yeah, that'd be cool though. So not bad. Three. So you're minus one to hit me. Yeah. Three. Sorry. I mean, sorry. Yeah, minus one weapon skill. One reroll. Okay. And then. Toughness five. So fives. Don't hurt me. Fives, one reroll. Two, three. Five, right? Five. Neg one. Might be neg two, actually, but do you care? Let's see. And they're one damage each, right? Yeah, just one damage each, yeah. Neg one. Oh, wait. No, that's not the right one. Yeah, neg one. Damn. So, one guy goes down? Actually. I'd be nigg nothing. Give me a second. I think I picked the either the wrong. No, Harlequin Blake name nothing. So still, I failed too. Good. Good. That means it's like good. Yes. Good to know that Har Terminators will laugh and laugh at Harlequins all day long. Okay. Um, that's all. That finishes it, huh? That's it. So I got my two clans and a deploy in the center. Okay. And then. Hmm. Well, it can only fall back and shoot or fall back and charge one thing. You ready for us to go, Jason, or? So at the end of round two, I have Johnny at 39 and Mason at 33. Okay. I go up a CP. I go to two. I go to two. Battle shocks, sir. Battle shocks. Uh... I think just that thing, right? Because this is more than half, right? That's more than half, yeah. So battle shock, that thing. You can't use any stratagems. Beneficial stratagems. We got battle shock tokens. Sweet. And then um, my cards. We're getting something. Area. Area denial. No prisoners. That's just kill units, right? Yes, sir. And you have five for primary? Uh, and five for primary. Thank you. At the end of your turn, one or more units from your army are wholly within the center of the battlefield, and there are no enemy units. Wow. What turn is this? Three. Three, so my contagion rage is nine now. For the rest of nice. Except nice. for the Nurglings, they don't have that. This is, I'm just going to place him here for planning purposes. Let's see if he can do that. Hmm. Non battle shocked. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And there's more troops 
in are the, all your transports? There, there's, there's troops in there. In this one here, okay. Yeah. And he still has a solid there with tasks in this round. No, yeah, he, he that's. I, I just put him yeah. down, but preemptive. Yeah, he's testing something here. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure I don't block him off from doing what I wanted to do. So he might not really be there, but. Link this to kill that, hopefully, and then backwards. These two can see him, right? I just want to make um, sure. Um, no, because here, see where the, let's see here, hold on. Yeah, will you do the line for me? I think they can. So I think their wings are wings. far enough over, yeah. Yeah, just because We'll say you're good. It does look like the wings can draw a line. Uh, so I don't want to spend a CP because then I won't be able to fire and fade. So it looks like the Harlequins are just going to have to chuck it out here in combat with your boys. And then uh, these girls. Are okay, just... before you move. Okay. Overwatch. Yes, sir. I, I don't have a choice. Oh, I guess I could just charge from here. Yeah, but I could fire at the start of the charge too. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't think I really have a choice but to let you do that. Oh. Huh. Well, if I fusion pistol them, kill one or two, it would be better. So I will just stand still, I think. Try to kill one or two of the Terminators and then charge. Okay. Um, and then... If you don't make a successful charge roll, I can't overwatch you. <laughs> oh, that's nice, too. Yeah, we, we learned that we were... Prisoners. They're definitely not going to kill. Oh, they got pistols. You never know what they can kill. That's one thing with Harlequins. I think I am good where, where I moved. And then the, those came in. I'm going to move them. Well. Oh, let's just move their full movement. So, tip to tip. All right. Um, Death Jester doesn't have any visual of any people right now. Yeah, we'll keep them on the objective. Just escape. And then this guy will whoop, into outer space. So he does like he got he he does the uppy downy stuff. Yeah. And then that's it. I'm done here. I think I'm good. Yeah, but I'm gonna shoot. You Double shoot. Check in. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, I might advance here if I'm out of twelve, just because my fusions. Oh, I'm in. Well, just remember the building. Oh, but yeah. Okay, but my. But yeah, you can. So see. I can draw a line of sight from here to here, but yep. the range is still drawn from my closest. Yep. Closest You're good. Here. Okay. You were a little far over. That's why I was like, oh. that, that's why I was trying to be winning because I didn't want that, that, the other side. Yeah. yeah, I got you. So I will start there. We'll do uh, two fusion pistols, two hits. Oh, actually, am I within your range of the thingy right now? Oh, let's see. Nine inches. No, you are not. You're good. Okay. So two hits and then fusion pistols to wound. I believe that's T10. One. I think they're strength eight, I think. Let me double check on this. Well, anyways, a six automatically hits, so. Well, that's nice. Uh, strength eight, so need five, so. Nope. So one wound goes through there. AP, oh, five of the Yeah, good. he's good to go. And then the regular pistols, why not, I guess? Uh, one wound. AP one. <gasps> Take that. What, da that. what? How much damage? The heavy bolter. One damage. The heavy bolter. Three hit. Need strength six, so fives. One wound. Oh, and Eldar reroll. Two wounds. AP? Oh. Yeah, uh, AP one. Heavy bolter, two damage. So down to nine. I call it a heavy bolter, but it's not. I have, I have so many elder players right now watching. I keep calling the heavy bolter. They're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so like, guy, come on. I'm talking to you right now. Uh, let's. Okay, so I do have a couple options. So I want to see if I can blow him up with these voids first. And if they can, then he'll go full force into here. 
you know, there, there's plans. So we'll do the void. Real quick, is this where you wanted him to final rest? Okay. Yeah. He's going to charge the little dudes, hopefully killing them. And you are with, just so you know, this guy here, he's within, let me double check to make sure I'm not doing it wrong. Give me one second. Uh, nerdling, nerdling, where are they? Command phase, comment. Let me check the nerdlings real quick, because you may be, or I don't know if it's just me. Let me check. Excluding monster. Oh, that's a vehicle, right? Yeah. Yep, you're good to go. Okay. The guy is not, though, obviously. But if you go melee, you're minus one to hit if you're six inches within a nerdling. Gotcha. So he'll go the three small shots here, the two big shots there. So the two big shots, the void cannon, two sixes, two hits, obviously. It would be cool if they had lethal. Um, I'll roll one at a time just to see what happens. Roll one. Nope. Uh, and then uh, the other one. So I will use the fate dice on the next one. That was my plan. Uh, Eldar reroll for the hit. Wounds. Shank six, all wound. On the nerglings. <gasps> the nerglings. Wow. Damage? Uh, two each. So the six is that they're good. So one takes two. Yes, sir. Okay. And next, next void weaver is going to do the exact same thing, except this time he's going to use his fate dice to try to hurt that thing. So uh, Eldar reroll on the threes. Two hits, uh, one Eldar Fate dice. You want to use it for your Fire Prism instead? Uh, I don't see why, just because, well, it is more damage. It's but, higher damage. But I have to shoot all three at one thing, and I think I might have uh, to shoot at the Fire right Prism, now. no, you do not. Now, a Link Fire? Yeah, you don't have to. You could just two, two, yeah. and two? Yeah. Good to have an have elder player here. It's good to have an elder player behind you. Yeah, I'll save it then. And then the voids, uh, two ones anyways. Wow. Into the, <laughs> into they the, just saved my bacon. Into the PVC? Into the PVC, yep. Yeah. And this is the void camp. Five. Nag three. Yeah, five of them. Will. Four damage each, so eight damage. Kaboom. Do you want to CP it? Nope. He's, no, he doesn't. He's blowing it up. And then the three small shots. Because you got fire prism still to shoot. Yeah. I didn't know you could do different targets either, so that's big. Uh, two hits with the heavy bolterous kick on, and two wounds on the nerdlings. Six Wait, is. Are they T4? No, they're T3. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go ahead. All right. Four, uh, two damage each, four damage. You leave my nerdlings alone. Leave my nerdlings alone. And then the front void weaver. I'm already within six, so now I'll get area denial if I just kill them. So I'm going to put everything I have into the Nurglings because they're the only things I can see. So why not? Void Cannon, Eldar Reroll, two hits, twos to wound, Eldar Reroll, two wounds. Six is! Four damage each. They're dead. Boom, boom. And I got area denial at least, and two no prisoners so far. We'll see if I can get one more. But I wish that little freaking ruin is blocking my whole left flank. I can't see. Same here. I don't think. The only reason I think I might be able to see is his tail, but I gotta get the. the yeah, thank you. We're here for you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. It's you're, only, you're, only you're way good. I can see. You got a bit. Of I source. love the layouts because it does protect armies a lot better. I, I love this. I love it. Okay. So and there's still firing lanes. Yeah. And there's still firing lanes. There is. Uh, El Tau player made the made the train layout, so they've got firing lanes. Well, him and Adam. And Adam. Shout, yeah. out Adam. Adam. Shout out to Adam. Shout out to Adam. All right. Uh, Link sh shots here. All of them into the. Yeah, I get when that's literally the only thing I can see, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so everything into it. First two. Hit, hit. Second two. Hit, hit. Three. Hit, hit. Wow, I can't roll like this against anything else but a rhino. Perfect. Hit, wound, wound. Nope. Eldar reroll. Nope. Wound. wound. Hold our reroll. Nope. So four? Four. AP? AP four, six damage each. AP four, six damage each? Yep. Oh, I think that just cuts right through them, huh? I get cover, right? 
Uh, oh yeah, you get cover to so, sixes. We're gonna try. So twelve damage. Does it? Or, excuse me, eighteen damage. Does it explode, dude? These things are crazy. <laughs> they just delete stuff. They're like, get it off the board. Get it out of here. <laughs> And they've got price hikes and they're still worth it. I imagine playing them at the beginning of the codex like, oh, they were 30 points less. After the first nerf, they actually kind of fell off. Uh -huh. Same with the D and they fell off from the night there. Mason, why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything. You're kicking my butt. Wow. It's a good game, actually. It's a really good game. We're, we're, we're doing a good job together. I'm not doing so good on primary, but you're doing good on primary. Not yet, you're not, but you're deleting. I gotta delete the troops now. So now we got six or and I six, 12 guys? Yep, okay. And then shooting in the back. Hold on, let me roll for him. Oh, sorry, six. sorry. Nine. You roll them all at once and then pick who you want. Yep. You kill the feds. No one's gonna die. Seven. Two are gonna die. No, one's gonna die. Because it's one wound each. It's mortals, right? No? Yep, one wound each. It, before it was one death each. Yep, so it was a model gone, which was crazy sauce. So we'll take that guy. Yeah. Okay, so two fusion pistols into the Terminators. Oh, no. Yes. Held our reroll. Two hits. Two wounds. These are big. Hi. Uh, ah. You know how Terminators do. I had to deal with Aaron's Terminators all morning earlier. Okay, I don't want to. Let me have my Terminators. That's not what you want to see. Okay. Okay. I'm. Hey, I'm bigger than this. I'm. I can get through this. <laughs> Four more pistols into the uh, Terminators. Wait. Oh yeah. No. Good. Uh, over here, the unit in combat. Boom, 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 boom! In combat pistols, two fusion hit. One wound, Eldar reroll, two wounds. Uh, Nag three. Nag three? How much damage? Two each or? Uh, D6. Okay. So first one. Kills a guy? Kills a guy. Two guys dead. The pistols. Three hits. Strength four, one wound. Nick one, one wound, Nick one. Come on, give me the four. I might actually win a combat at this rate. All right. Damage, one. one. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, let's go into... Charge o'clock. Yeah, charges. Kill too much, kill too much. Go for that 18 inch charge. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Cool. All right, that's it. Uh, fight phase, you go first. Okay. You're not charging in this corner? No, they'll die. So I'm just going to sit here and make him you put resources in this corner. With your Reaver right here? Uh, this guy? No, I will. This side right here. So bomb bomb all the way into. Am I within? Let's see. You were within. I mean, it would, it'll stop his shooting. That would. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're, you and need. 11. You're just. You're about same right over ten. Right over ten. No. Well, you tried. That was a good call, Jay. I didn't even see that play, but that would stop his plague booster from destroying the next turn. So. Here is the heavy weapons. And stops the mortar from shooting, which is huge. They hit on threes. Lethal hits. Oh wait, that hold on. They give the critical hits on so those both do that. Strength eight to T three. Two. You're within, yep, so choose. So you have five at negative two, I think it is. Okay. Uh, two dead. Gee, let me go check this. Yeah, it's negative two. Biologist Putrefire now, he has four attacks. Okay. Um, and then I got the, they hit, lethal. Strength four, to, so choose, right? Mm-hmm. So you got four at nothing. Okay. Two more. One more. And then we got, I do believe, the guys with heavy... Let me double check. I don't like how this squad's built, but let me just double check because... How, how many guys attack so far? Because there's only three guys. I know. There. I think they have their plague knives that I forgot about. The two heavy weapon guys have plague knives. I got to just double check and see how got you. it's worded. I got to... So for... Uh, can replace with the fiery five miles. One plague marines play what? Can we, 
the following each of their bolt guns, blah blah blah. How each of their plague, so yeah, they have the plague knife. So, two plague knives. So, they got two plague knives. I hate this. Is that the extra attack? I gotta double check. Yeah, so the plague knife is. The plague knife is three attacks. Gotcha. Lethal hits on fives and sixes because of what's his face. Wait, they get to attack with the heavy weapons and the plague. Yeah, they get attack. With oh wait, I thought you could tell. No, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Nope, you are okay. correct. There are no like three extra attacks. Yep, you are correct. It's like woo. Okay, my troop master. Hold on, let me do my. Oh, go ahead. Because yeah, piling in. Yeah, consolidation. I mean. So this, this troop master is gonna wipe these guys, right? It's not a troop master; it's just a troop leader. Oh, okay. He's got six attacks, and he's just like the other ones. So, Harlequin reroll, not Harlequin, but yeah, Harlequin rerolls. We got okay. heavy bolters. Two wins. Oh, one reroll for the Elder. Yep. Three wins. AP? Nagel, uh, nothing. And now are these one damage each, or? Let me make sure that the the leader doesn't have AP though. Because I'll have to roll them separate. No, because the guy does have an inv. I'll just roll all three, see what happens. Okay. So one fails and you just make one. One one damage or two damage? Just one damage. Okay, so then this guy dies. Okay. Better than nothing. All right, so that's it, huh? That's it, uh, points, no prisoners. I killed two units, yeah? No, three, one, two, three. Uh, so six points for no prisoners. Uh, Max is out at five, so five points for no prisoners, excuse me. Five for area. And then five for area. Oh, this is so dumb. Hopefully it limited your mobility somewhat, but you still have a Rhino. You could move back and get in it and then drive away if you wanted. So it's like, I'm trying to, trying. Now he's got 15 again for primary, like a boss. I think that charge would have stopped hit 15 too. It would have gone down to a 10. So, so really, good. Okay. really good eyeball there, Jay. So I get a CP. We get a CP. I'm at three. Uh, oh, I go up to oh three. do you mind if I fire and fade? I forgot, but I would have. Yeah, go Not ahead. that it really matters at this point because your infant, your cannons have a lot to shoot at. I just, I just like playing the army how I would normally play it. Just I'm gonna roll for the tallyman's extra CP. Keep <gasps> He does it, so I'm up to four. Oh my He gosh. did it! Oh. It was all my CP, that I'm up to one at the beginning yeah, of his I'm good. Yes, thank you, too, for firing fit. And I have four CP, sir. We are going to roll for that squad in the back. They're fine. No battle shock there. And nothing else is below half, so we are going to go around the board here, sir, and I think we're going to... Your wife's speaking to you, Johnny. She is? She's calling you hot. I'm oh. hot. He's sweating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so they're, uh, you fight first here, don't you? No. Nah. Oh, now it's your turn. Yeah. I will, if you let it go on. But I have two, I have a pistol there and it's a cool Clark, pistol. Clark, Clark. So, okay. So we're going to hop in, like you said, Mason. Okay. Pop in. Now you have some mobility. Get where you need to go. Then we're gonna go. Only about twenty more primary, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, I gotta. Yeah, primary. You're gonna max that oh. easily. <laughs> we're just trying to figure out what's the best. So I'm within sixteen. Wait, no. If I move six, that's not gonna get it done. I'll try to see if I can grenade you. Ah. Uh. And this thing moves 10. You know what? Watch this. This is what we're going to do. Can you roll me an advance, sir? I, I, you don't want me to, but I'll do it. Six. That's what, So these guys are going to boop, pop in. Perfect. I need two units again inside the little shell. Gosh, these things. So these two are my... And then he moves 10. So that gets him under the objective. Yeah, I set up a charge mid for him, but then I decided like add extra oh, shooting. No, looking at your... Oh yeah. I don't think that's how you can get to cleanse. Not He's gonna cleanse here. Easy. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, I went over this way. Dance. 
Because mm, only one needs to get there, so this guy's close. Uh, because the one advances, but the other two link fire through it, so you still get four shots. That's disgusting. I love Har I love Har Eldar tech. No wonder they're so. Oh, I'll put these the guys top. back over here because they have all this jank that you can do within the army. It's really cool. These guys should be able to pick them up. Come on. They will. They didn't shoot. They didn't shoot. They didn't shoot them. They didn't shoot him. No, they had to find the boat. He says, come on. So that's what we're going to try and do. Because the bat. Oh, that guy's the battle shot guy, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to cleanse there. This is where it's going to suck. Did you get cleanse last time? Yeah. With which ones? Remember the... The Nurgling in there. And that, that, and that, that, and that guy and over the there. the tank. Yeah, and the tank over there That's last right. time. That's right. But this turn, it's going to be a harder decision. You got this tank, and then you can't... No, the, the tank is cleansing. But then uh, they can't cleanse the same. No, no, no. I got to figure out what to do. So is he going to cleanse? I mean, I do two cleanses, Mason. Oh, you don't need to do two. You can just do one. I can do one. Oh, that's fine. And you're pretty high on secondary, maybe, already. No, not that high. Mm. And he's going to deploy teleport homeward. Perfect. In Type my, this is going to my backfield. He's yeah. 14 secondary. I, could, I don't have too much. Huh. Actually, that's Typhus. Yep. Nah. I was gonna okay. I was gonna overwatch him. It seemed juicy. But um <laughs> I was like if I hit him once, I could kill him. I got six I know I have the six right there to auto hit him too, yeah. But I was like, am I gonna hit the wound? I don't know. I need to Oh yeah, I've only got the two fate dice, but I could turn the five into a six and hold the six. Yeah, I could. Shit. Dang, that's actually tempting. He is going to be a pain in my rear, and if I killed him right now, he wouldn't get those points. Yeah, I guess, well, no, no, because Johnny went and declared that to the shooting phase, so I wouldn't have realized how important he was, so I'm not going to do it. Because I would have been like, ah, so what, Typhus is back here, so what? And then he's like, mm. in the shooting phase, he'd have been like, oh, I'm going to so deploy, I'm going to be like, three oh, minutes. I should have shot him, ah. So that's three and a half there, but is I can't fit there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This does because this screws up the. There is some serious no shooting in the middle going on unless you like move up. <laughs> it's cool. I really like the layout of the board. To be honest. All right, we got to. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here because. Uh... Your time. Okay, nope, I don't want to take my time because that's so. Okay. <laughs> my dad's JV says, let's see some mayhem for the mayhem. Yes, thank you, Dad. The Love question you. is that's a. Uh, they're just going to get eaten up if I. Let's just do this. Let's just move them. They can move six, so they can do this. We're gonna hide behind the cover. The attention to be is be behind yeah, yeah. the cover. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. I guess we're just gonna leave this, Mason. This is what we're going for. Does this have loan up? Uh, yeah. Mm. So does that guy. That guy. Like, where'd he go? Okay. Oh, I left him on the objective. Yeah, he. I think he got bumped. No worries. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Mortar. Do I think the mortar can take those guys out? That's the question. You know what? I need every ounce of movement I can get. So my thing is, they have to be within 12 to hit. So I'm just going to scooch them a little bit here to that just in case this doesn't work. So that's what we're going to do. Entropy and heavy sluggers here, mortar back there. Okay. 
So entropies into this guy. Both hit. Ooh. Strength eight to T six. No. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, you might be. I might be. Oh, there you go. T five. No, because you're outside of nine. Because I have to be outside of nine. So nothing. Oh. But I'm gonna CP one of those. Two or five. There we go. One. So we're down to three. Save. No save. And I do believe it's D six plus one. Correct. D mm. six plus one. So for five, one left. We still got another shot at it. The heavy, here. yeah, the four heavy sluggers. Uh, they don't have lethal, do they? No, they do not. So, strength five to six, so fives. Two at neg one. These are threes. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, that does have troops inside. Shoot. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and grab some dice real quick. One, one dice. And grab some dude. Do you mind if I roll the mortars while you're doing that, sir? Roll it, please. It's okay. five, five man score. So D6 plus three plus one more for the blast. You're good. So we rolled two, so that's five, so six total. I can see you, so hitting on threes. Okay. And these do have lethal hits. No lethal hits. Strength eight to, so twos. I guess I'll put them a little further out. And one pair straight getting out. Yep, six man gets out, five man leaves the field. So you have four neg one saves, sir. On the squad back there. You got it. Three dead. That's why I kept the guys closed. Let's check this because now that you pulled out, let's see. It. Uh, yep. Oh, so four D6 flamers into these guys. I can't kill him. I don't know what I'm doing with myself here. <sighs> we could save time. I can pull him. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just because the average is like... Six, to get the the demon demon two hours. Hours. Six wins. <laughs> okay, so now we have... Let's see if this guy can do it. He has a cool... He's got a cool little... Uh, Where is it? The pistol right here, so... Hits on a three, the yep, in the so it hits strength four wounds at neg one does three damage. Good, he's too fast for that. Okay, so that's everything there. I do believe I think we're done. So, like we said, deploying teleport Homer, perfect, and your first fight over there, sir. No, oh, thank you. Six attacks. Heading on twos normally, threes because you hate me. Three. For what? Oh no, for Homer two and mm, the Homer in his backfield, I believe, is four. Because mm, it's it's in my deployment. Okay. Go one of those two wounds, sir. Yeah, it's four, and one objective is two for fixed for cleanse. Two neg ones. Two neg ones. They're okay. Looks fine. All right, so we're gonna go with the heavy plague weapon. Okay. We'll hit you twice. Strength eight. Once, once. He's dead. Okay. He's dead. And I had no charges, so that's the turn. Perfect. I'm trying, Mason. You're doing great. We're both trying. We're both trying. I think this is where you kind of come out and start spreading your wings. Yeah. Literally. We'll see how much I can pick up this next turn. I need to get some of these troops off the board so these OCs die All right, out a little bit. Before I have Johnny at 50 and Mason at 48. Puts me at 2 CP. Mason, your dad loves you. I do. I knew that. 
Love you, Dad. Everybody, Everybody loves, loves Nathan. Nathan. Well, we'll see after this turn how I feel. <laughs> I get a CP? Do you CP? We got the four. Hmm. Okay, let's, um... You want five primary animation? Five primary, sir. Oh, no. no. Ten. Ten. I, I, for, I thought he was going to drive the rhino and park on my objective, but he he went around the flank to keep him more protected from the shooting. What? Uh, battle shock this guy, huh? Battle shock this guy again. That guy. The uh, Skyweaver. I think Weaver. you're good, right? He's good, yeah. Barely. And then what else? No, I think that's it. I think he we killed, killed the other stuff. Killed him good. So objectives. I've got secure no man's. Which is at the end of your turn, control two or more objective no man's land. Oh, I'll actually have that if I don't accidentally get overwatched by flamers. Now that's it's not the one flamers. Uh, deploy teleport homer, so I can do that one as well with the guy that's in deep strikes. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is blitz with the solitaire and it's a cool ability he has and once per battle in your movement phase this model can use its ability before making him a normal move if it does so until the end of its turn add 2d6 to its move characteristics plus 8 to its move characteristic add 3 to its attacks with all of its weapons so plus 8 so 7 plus 8 is going to be uh, 15 inches yeah so he's going to blitz to about there. Now the question is, what kind of saves does he have before you go any further? Uh, he's we a three-up in ball all the time. <laughs> three-up in ball. Three-up in ball. He's the uh, unique epic character. This is the one I warned you about in the Chico months ago. No, I know. It just. And you said you didn't have any Terminators, Mason. That he's not a Terminator. <laughs> Better than a Terminator. <laughs> so are you going to move those guys? Um, I think I have to. Before you move them. Okay, shoot. Are you going to shoot? I think I'm, I got to try and overwatch them. We're on it. Yeah, I have to move them first. Now, uh, you, at the start of the movement phase. Start or end of their, yeah. when they start or end their move. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll spend a CP to overwatch. Okay, run it. So we'll get under You're three. three. Wow, you have so many CP. Okay. Yeah. Well, the tally man works pretty well. So the two entropy cannons. Yes, sir. Neither hit. Four heavy sluggers. No hits. D6 plus three on the more. I mean, I gotta try because you're gonna hop on that objective. So three, four plus the one for the blast. Come on, mortars hit. Give me some sixes. Nothing. Mm. You're free to move about the country, sir. Well, I think it was worth the the risk. Because I'm only four OC if I remember correctly. So I'll just beat you up by just standing here. Which I have to basically because yeah, it's only OC4. Like, I could charge you, but then not risk you killing two of them in combat, and then I don't get the objective. You'll kill it with the fusion pistols. Oh, yeah, fusion. I could shoot fusion pistols, yeah. You say I'll kill it. Uh, he drops down, and he's going to deploy teleport hummers, just so the chat knows. Uh-oh, and then... This guy. He's going to fly into the ruin. Oh, he can't be completely in the ruin. So I can't see out. Okay, let's redo this. I like the setup. I just need to relearn how to play. Oh, this thing's screwing me up all the time because I'm like, too. oh, I, I, <laughs> me too. I was like, I can't. I am, uh... <laughs> no, he has to move outwards. I don't have really a line of sight of anything except for that right now. And the troops, not really. Nope, I don't. Not until I kill the rhino. Now, can he, Bummer. Jason, does he have to declare all of his attacks with the fire link, or can he go? No. And it's model by model basis. So you could. I just use him as my eyes, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you could blow up the rhino, then hit the. Uh, I could, yeah, you were told. Blow up the rhino, and then kill Tog, then. Leave town. Shh, don't tell him. Don't him that much. <laughs> don't tell him about telling me. She's somewhere to seven inches. I'm telling his banana. Tally, tally, man. This guy is wounded heavily. Where? This guy. Yeah, but he's not battle shot. Not battle shots. <clears throat> but I think it's time we start getting all of our shots, and not just some of our shots. You miss some of the shots you don't take. Exactly. You miss some of the shots you don't take, and a lot of his shooting power is gone now, so now I can come out of my shell and start being an Eldar army. Be crazy. 
of Farseer is good where he is, but this Void Weaver is not 14. Can't land up there because I can't get the whole base up here, right? I mm. nope because of the wings. See, the base doesn't yep. quite fit, so he'll just go out here. Uh, maybe you can't do that. Um, he might be able to come back where he was. I'm just moving him way too far, and then can't see through that. Yeah, it's just a, it's just the new terrain. That's all. I'm just gonna, I will place him here. It's just the new terrain. I'm not used to it, so I need to learn how to maneuver around it better. Two CP. Gosh, I'm ignoring typist, which is just such a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is we'll sh deep strike that there and then deploy Tower of Warhammer like we talked about. We'll do mm -hmm. the fusion pistols into the Plague Burst Crawler. No! Please, two hits. Um, what's the strength AT10? So I will use the, I will use a bait dice to auto wound one of those and two wounds there. AP style and we'll watch us. Yep. One. What's the damage? Hold on. Only D6. I got enough CP. I'm gonna try and reroll this one. Why good not? Call. Good call. Down to two. Five up. He said, "Fate this." There Ooh, is. nice. And then the pistols. It's sixes. One wound to make one. Take that, sir. <laughs> the pistols. Get that out of here. Also, usually you want to roll your first dice first and then do the reroll if you're thinking about using the bait dice. So, bait dice happens before I roll, right? Uh, that's so, why you roll one at a time. One at a time. So, you yep. go, oh, see if it does it. That yep. didn't, and I'm going to use a bait dice. Got it. Okay, yeah, so okay. That's smart. One smart. Through. Smart. So, that's good for the Eldar players out there. Yeah. So, you want to roll, kind of roll. It, Eldar kind of encourages you to roll one at a time in a way. Uh, pull Void Weaver into that, into the Plague Burst. Hit. Eldar reroll. One hit. Reroll. One wound. Four, four damage. <gasps> and then the heavy bolter shots that aren't heavy bolters get two sustained in there. How many wounds does that have left, Johnny? Four. No wounds. And that's where it's going to stand, unfortunately. Because what's the attacks on the plague burst, just out of curiosity? He's got three attacks. Hitting on sixes? Hitting on fours. Ah, never mind. Can't do it. Well, not worth it. He, he might hit on fives, I guess. Yeah, that's a good point because of the bracket. Uh, is he bracketed? Let's see here. He brackets at one to four. Yep. So he's minus one. So the first one's going to shoot everything into... Uh, he's going to... Actually. Can I see them past the plague tank? Sorry. So, uh, I'm wait, hold on, yeah. hold on, Joe found to develop this board, hold on, he says, in the stream game, this wall should be four inches away from the edge of the table, that's why there is a four inch area in between the buildings. This here? Hold on, let me see what he sent a picture of. Where is he? Uh, late now. No, I know we can't. We'll, 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 Joe Fox, we'll have to talk about that and fix it later. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Wait, what's going on? I was kind of curiosity. Just I'm just trying to figure out which one he's describing because he in the street, this wall should be four inches away from the edge of the table. That's too big. I think that one is four inches away from the table. I have it four inches away. Oh, it got bumped. And so they they were pushed a little far back. They got pushed. Yeah, because I did have them four inches. Okay, we'll fix that next time. I, I kind of like it with the three inch because I thought that you intentionally did that because this is a short rune anyway, so hmm. people can come back. I think they just got bumped somewhere in the process because this morning when I measured them, they were there. So, oh, okay. all right. Thank you, Joe Funts. Okay, so the um, we'll do the... Damn, what kills the rhino better? They're both the same, basically. Uh, we'll start with the Void Weaver. Two hits. Strength 12, so threes, two wounds. Neg three, so. With cover, cover, so five. 
fives, yeah. So four damage. Four damage, so he's down to six. The heavy bolter-esque weapon. Change we'll just put it right here since more's coming. You got it. Lots of same fives. Three wounds. Uh, Eldar reroll since I didn't have to use it yet. Four wounds. Snake one. So one damage. One damage each. He's down to five. Okay. Because see. Okay, then we'll use the fire uh, back fire prism to knock him out, hopefully. Tip twos, reroll one with the uh, thing. Miss. Don't see that very often. One hit, one wound. And this one is what? Uh, Nate one, one damage. So down to four. Okay. Let's hope the second fire prism does better than that because it shouldn't take this many vehicles to kill a single rhino. Oh, uh, Void Weaver, I guess, just since his gun's a little worse. Eldar reroll. Eldar reroll, one wound. AP on this one? Uh, Neg three. Damage? Four. So that kills it. Hold on a second, sir. Okay. So let me. So I have one, two fire prisms left. Does it blow up? It does not. All right. And my sniper. Talk among yourselves while I get these guys out. Okay. Why don't you talk about how great the fire prisms are? <sighs> fire prisms are great unless you roll twos and then twos and twos like I just did. But hey, that's oh, not going to happen every time. You know, no big deal. How far does I this guy? My fate dice this turn. Uh, how how good is this guy in combat here? Uh, he rerolls charge ranges, and he's great in combat. It's this thing. Oh, oh you know, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. gonna do? It's got like eight attack, blender, make two, two damage or something like that. Yeah. He's so who's off the fire, um, Mason? Uh, this guy and this guy and then the sniper. So if I get them out, holy within three, behind this wall, you can't see him, right? Because you can't see him, right? Because I can see it's a one run, right? Or is that two? That, but I mean the four inch wall, right? Because uh, uh, oh, because it's true line of sight. Oh uh, well, are you counting these as four? Or are you yeah. just saying? Yeah, yeah. Remember we're yeah. Yeah, because the yeah, we did yeah. the four and three, so we'll put those four, five guys right here. So that'll be those five. But I, there is a possibility. Let me double check this. So the angle is that I'm at three inch model. So four inch wall would be there. Yeah, there's no. Okay, so there's that five man group. And then I guess my only other option is to put this five man group back here because that guy is like the blend tech blender. Will it blend? Basically is what you're telling me? Mm-hmm. Oh, not really for you, but for most things, yeah. It's not the art on a night. Yeah. Dude, I miss Trezar so much. Trezar was awesome. I remember meeting him. And I remember having the discussion with... Uh, and him going through Thunderwolf Cavalry. Like yeah. they were that was so much fun. Okay. Okay. And now uh, I got to roll. Hold on. Six plus six is 12. And make sure that the salt... Three, six, nine, twelve. Oh, dang. Two guys died. You have to roll six and then six? No, you roll for all the models, and then you just pick which... So one guy dies. Oh, uh, solitaire advances in the shooting phase. That's really cool. And then he gets to charge after. Okay. That's really neat. I'll just scoot three inches forward. Just so you know, this unit here, mm -hmm. this unit here has fight first. Cool, perfect. So just so, so you know. I might not charge them. Might. Might. You might got lucky this time, play guard. Or play. Yeah, let right. them charge the solitaire next turn. Because <laughs> the sea fight first? first? Yeah. Oh, there you. All right. All right. Uh, so shooting uh, the first one into this unit here. Okay. Uh, actually, we'll shoot the. Uh, we'll shoot the uh, Death Jester first. Uh, so. Sustain hits. Actually, no, I'm I just choosing the character, so this would be um, the other thing, precision. the precision. Thank you. Oh, so you're going for the Biologist Putrefire? Yep, Biologist Putrefire is going to take some shots. Uh, takes six, two mortals, and then one save. Don't you get, uh, are you going to fish for it? No, oh, I could, but then I could not wound, though, as okay. well. So I'll just go for the one dev, two devastating wounds, and then one save. Okay, so one save, AP on the save? Uh, I believe it's AP one. Did you flip one to a So he's already? dead? I did. Okay. So that's no good, so it's total, how much total damage? Uh, so two, 
Two damage, two mortals. So I think that is four that damage. Yes. That enough to kill him, I think it is. Biologic future fire, four wounds. Yep, he gone. So the Death Jester takes out a, a man. Oh, and look at that. He's the one on the objective. <laughs> Lucky. And you're not sticky, so I take it back from you now. Yeah, because it's sticky. now checked at the phase. So next phase, it would be yours. Oh, next phase. So at the beginning of the combat, combat phase. Charge phase. But well, he may have to charge off it. If I'm not on it, then you're still sticky, right? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, um... I think it's a starter end of phase, so you might have it at the end of the phase. Okay, if it's starter end, then maybe that'll change. Start. Okay. But I could also charge here and still be on the objective, technically, I guess. Yes. Okay, so uh, the two vehicles, this guy into the unit. Okay. Might not be a unit there for me to charge. Well, I'll charge the fight first unit and die real quick for you. Two hits. Two ones. Two big shots. Nag four. Nag four? Yeah, so six. Uh, do cover. I get any cover? Yep. I'm drawing line through some kind of cover. Nope. Damage two, each. Two dead. Uh, damage six each. And the underslung. Three hits. So two guys are dead. Two wounds. Eldar reroll because I haven't done it yet. Three wounds. Three nag ones. Two damage each. Two damage each. Oh, there's only one more guy. Two? Yep. Or it's three, sorry. But it just takes two damage anyways. Anyway. Yeah, that's a squad on that guy. So that's the end of them. And then this guy into that squad. Which guy in it? Does he have to draw line of sight or? Oh, he does. So never mind. Because this is the squad oh, right here. He can draw line of sight from here for his two shots, though. Yep, you're good to go. Then. So just the two shots. Just... Not the the killing shots. Not the underslung. Mm-hmm. One hit, one wound. AP, four, so sixes. Kills one guy. Super. All right. Do you have a gun? No, unfortunately. And then this is two units. So this is one unit. Yeah, and then this is the fight first unit. Yeah, there were, there were the two white guy, two white bases are from are the fight first. Okay. But I can heroic intervene. Yeah. Oh, sexy. So if I don't get far enough around, you can just swoop into me and then get Yeah, because that's the closest guy there. I only got five wounds, so I'm scared of what volume of attacks because I am super weak. Uh, can you check? Can we check if it, is it is it the end of the phase? Do I have this? Because I don't want to charge off and give you five extra primary. Let's I check. It's in the. Give me a second. There, I'll tell you right here. Woo! We're gonna check, folks. It's right here. I have okay. since I have to to stuff. I got a binder. Yeah, and I have to say Johnny is the best with rules out of everyone. No, Adam Die is way past me. Out of anyone in RBBR, you didn't let me finish. Oh, I was like. He's here. <laughs> I heard him. Okay, objective controlled. Because that's a beautiful thing about GW. Like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Until you look. <laughs> okay. Objective secured. Okay. Various. Uh, it's dark in here, Mason, and that red writing is. Oh, you're good. Right there. Uh, various abilities allow you to regain control of objective markers that you don't have no models within it. Objective secure ability assessor, blah, blah, blah. Regardless of how these rules are worded, control of objective markers is determined at the end of each phase. End of each phase. So um, I would have it at the end of the shooting, so now I will charge this unit on the right, even though it might be the death of me if I don't get a long enough charge. Do you even make it on a five? Oh, I don't need fire and fade now, so reroll. A nine? Does that get you far enough away? Or I can move through models, remember? So I'm gonna land right on the other side of this. But I can still, you're within six, so yeah. I could do the. And um, exactly six, so you need a six inch. No, no, I mean, you're within six. Oh yes, you can so do it, but you also have to make the charge, which looks like it's gonna be a But six. I can go through my models. Oh, you can? Yeah. Wait, what? You get to do that? You can go through. Oh, for for uh, heroically intervening only. No, even oh, in. You can look through your own models. Now, yeah. Oh, period. So yeah. that doesn't make Harlequin special. Enemy models. Yeah, that's. So okay, uh, five. All right, because four won't make it to the other side of your model. So I'm gonna. So you need a five. So I'm gonna spend it. Okay. We're gonna heroically intervene. Make it a seven. So that gives me the fight. For... I don't know how many are going to make it in, though. Uh, quite a few of the Thank seven. I mean, oh, you can only move six, though, right? No. No, no. I have to be no. within six to uh, trigger. And then you just trigger a charge. So seven gets him. So he's going to come all the way over to here. I don't think I can fit. And I spent the CP, so I'm down to one. 
I think I'm down to one, two, right, Jason? Yeah. Seven. No. Is that he at the end of the charge phase? Yes. Oh, because I, I was going to charge the vehicle into that. Oh, well, then get... I totally <laughs> forgot. That's... Yeah. That's... Never mind. Never mind. I want to keep the middle objective anyways, even though you'll kill it, and then I nope. won't have it. Nope. Go anymore. ahead. Go, nope. Go back. No, no. You're fine. You're fine. Run it. We already went too far. Pull them in. I, I was totally thinking, like, oh, yeah, I could totally just charge into them and get a couple shots, but you have uh, plague heavy weapons in there anyways, right? Yes. Yeah, forget about it. You just kill me. I probably can win this game with shooting units. The one character isn't really worth two. I don't minutes. think those two guys are going to get in because they're going to be out. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So make sense. Just so you know, yep. one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the unit there. I got it. The so, back line. So any more charges? I jumped the gun. I'm sorry, sir. No, you're fine. Uh, no, 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 you're fine. I should have been like, that's all my charges, and I kind of was that way. So he did that, did that. I'm done. I'm not charging the Plague Burst Crawler in case you accidentally kill two of them. And you have four wounds left, and I just don't see him rolling that many sixes. So, yeah, I think I'm happy where I'm at. You're not going to charge into the PVC? Mm-mm. I'm just going to keep the... I'm going to heroically intervene here, too. No, I'm just kidding. I wish. That's yeah, last uh, edition. Uh, yeah. No, uh, okay, so... I do not, so I have the... Oh, the guys that get to fight before me are the... Yeah, yeah, so I have two the two heavy plague guys. Guy. So the two heavy plague guys, and he's in base-to-base -base contact with but him. he's not base-to-base. -base. Oh, no, he is not. You're right, so I got the that and then four plague knives. Okay. So let's go here. So these are the... They have lethal... No, wait, hold on. I don't think he gives... Uh, There's my cheat sheet. I'm going all in for this guy. You're minus one to hit. I'm minus one to hit. Lightning fast reflexes. Okay. So, hold on. Let me just double check here. Uh, all I get is fight first, but I think they have lethal hits by themselves with the uh, plague weapons. With the heavy plague weapons. Yep, lethal hits. Oh, good lord. Oh, the minus one did nothing because you rolled all the twos, but I'll take it. I like to think that you were under so much pressure. I was. The yeah. minus one that uh, you rolled bad, you know. So you have one at neg two, two damage. Three in ball. Nope. Two damage. Two D. Okay, and then I have one plague knife, which is on the other guy. Fours, right? That Fours, helped. Yeah, it did help. Three, three hits. I'll take it. Uh, what's your toughness on that guy? Three minus two, one, so, two. No, he's good. good to do. Okay, three. who are you going into, sir? Three, six, nine, uh, plus Did three. Uh, no, are you going into the unit that hasn't attacked yet? Uh, I'm going to the unit that hasn't attacked yet. Okay, yeah, probably a good call, even though the fight first, I have fight first. Yeah, pre unit has attacked yet. Twos, re roll Eldar style. And like strength six, uh, so threes. Um, you're minus one to hit me, yeah. That's why she all those twos just missed. I love it, she sucks. Um, strength six, so threes, uh, excuse me, strength six, yeah, minus two, two damage, threes with a one reroll. Do you have any kind of fanciness with the sixes? Mm, nope. So I have not that cool. So three, Stat. seven at minus two, minus two, one damage or two damage, two damage each. Oh, uh, and there's no invulnerable, so it doesn't matter. Yep, two, so fives. So two damage each, yep, one. Two, three, four, five. Everyone but the character is dead. Shwink. The solitaire does her job. Now, so everyone, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So everyone here is dead. Now, that sucks. Because I don't get a hit back. Do with the character, right? Oh, no, because, because out I didn't charge, right? And he's and he now he's his own unit. Well, he might be within an inch. Mm, he is within an. You you tell me. I think I'm within think, an inch, but I think you're pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I'd say he's within an inch. I'd prefer he not be, but okay, then he's not. No, no, we'll go. No, uh, no, no. Because <laughs> I no, we already got it figured out. <laughs> Oh, right. we have the inch measure. I all right, the inch mark. that's all right. I prefer if you were out, cause then I, cause he's gonna die next turn. But Unless you kill him right now. He's not gonna kill him. <laughs> he's got four plague knife attacks hitting on 
Yeah. Minus Bars. one to hit, right? Yeah. Still minus one to hit, right? Yeah. So two and then strength four. Back. So three. Oh wait, that's a lethal hit. That six was a lethal hit. Nice. So you have two at nothing. Two. Good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna have to do it with pistols. Was that, that a turn? I do, that you, I do believe so, yep. All right, let's get to some points. We got deploy teleport homer for five. For being in the back line there. And then um, I secured no man's land for five. Okay, we gotta... How many wounds do these things have? Uh, nine. I gotta kill one of those. Good old Typhus. Come on, Typhus. Good old Typhus. Yeah, it was, okay. a, it was a bold move for me ignoring Typhus like that. He probably didn't really like that too much. Maybe I'll... T oh, one's 12, T9. 12. Okay. So maybe I'll try and take out the Death Jester. Maybe... Watch out, me, I'll try and take out the death gesture. All right, battle shock on the two guys back there. He's blown up. I know, okay, Typhus's just... ability ignores cool. it. Nice. So we got- Yes, you're good. Good there. Okay. Um, I do believe the character is all by himself, so he, he doesn't have to battle shock. He doesn't have to battle shock. Um, Pink. Pink is battle shot. Oh, it's the OC zero. So I have five for primary. I get a CP, so I go up to two. I am going I to it. roll for the tally man. Up to one. Comes in strong, so go up to three. So I have three CP, sir. I'm at one. Um, how far away are we here? 14, that would be a 10 inch charge. Nine inch, oh, you're over 14, got it. How many, what's the save profile on this guy? Uh, four pinball. How many wounds? Four. T three. Well, this is going. I got to do it. It's not going to go well, but you. Uh, oh wait, no. This is what we're going to try. Why can't I turbo boost my terminators? Would be nice. So from the back guy, Thix gets him to the wall. There you go. He's playing where he has to do some work. Because you have nothing more that can come in and do nonsense, right? Uh, no, that's everything. And that's off the board thing as a once per game, so. So we're gonna... We're gonna advance. Can you roll throw me an advance roll since you're over there, sir? Of course. Please. It's another six. I'm gonna re-roll it. Five. Well, so eleven. They're gonna head towards the objective. They're gonna head. Oh, Mason. Oh yeah. I'm just concerned. Can the heavy sluggers take out this thing? Because <laughs> it's gonna be what a turn is it? What turn is it? Makes it swinging. Bottom of four. You went second, bottom of four. So I only got one more turn to work, regardless. No, I know, but it's just like, do I think? Even if I do this, four gets me to there. I got to go this way. It's the only. It seems like such a waste, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, I mean like four. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're just like, you're dead. Okay, cool. What else? Typhus goes six, I believe. Please say he goes six. Make five. Five, Terminator style. But I think that still gets him to where you can see the death jester, okay? Uh-oh. So Typhus, and I have to do it at the end of the or in my shooting phase. How many wins does Typhus have? Six. He has six. Nope. Okay, so that I was almost gonna overwatch the Death Jester and, and, and odd because you can do two mortal wins automatically, he doesn't have a feel no pain, so you're relying on the other two shots. No, you hit it with the fire prism. I, yeah, we could auto six it. I mean, he does, but he would, does he have four pinball? He has a two up, four up. Yeah, I'm doing it. Fire prism, overwatch. Okay. He's Here going go. for it. One hit. 
Okay. Fate dice. <laughs> so wound, wounds. And then the other shot, six to hit. No, nope. re-roll with the Eldar. Nope, so that's just the big shots. Ah, he's fine. So worth it. And then the under shots. Nope, that's it. Okay. Typhus ain't scared. Oh, well, he took a shot straight from the... Uh, so I'm trying to stuff. figure out, do I need to... It was a good try. I'm going to position myself... Yeah, because I could have just hit with the first one. Yeah, I keep forgetting the uh, order. You might not have had to use your face. So let's see. Yeah, but I did roll. The second dice I rolled was like a three or whatever. So it wasn't too bad, at least. Oh, it doesn't have dead wounds. That's what it doesn't have. Yeah. Okay, so it's you... It's not a decan. This guy is in contagion range now. Okay. Um, well, he's probably in contagion range from those things. So, okay, so what we're going to do is Typhus is going to do his thing. We don't want to see a one. Okay. We see a two. So he does, on a two through five, that enemy unit suffers D6 mortal wounds. How many wounds does the... Four. Oh, come on, four. Give me a four. Two. So the Death Duster takes two wounds. All right. You're an idiot, Johnny. You're an idiot. Uh, we're both playing sloppy, but what happened? I shouldn't have done that at all. Shouldn't have done that at all. Why? Because... Do you mind if I take that back, sir? Can you put take yeah. your death gesture back? Yeah. And I, could I take my... then And the CP? Take your CP back, yep. I'm happy with Because... What happened? Deploy teleport homer. Oh! I completely forgot I got to do my secondary. Yep. Yeah. I'm deploying my teleport homer. your fate knife back? Yes, yes, he does. So do. You're and six. It was my six. Yes, because I completely forgot. I'm like, what? What am I missing here? And That's I'm like, a, this is a real Aldar game. You see huh? the fates just. <laughs> I'm used to. I'm used to just time, attacking. Time. Not using Typhus to deploy teleport homers. Yeah, that's kind of. Uh, but points are everything. Yes. So four d six and. Uh, Homeboy, yeah. Let's just see what happens. I just, I know he's going to be dead, but that was a good roll, too. 18. 18, so 4, 5, 6, oh. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Because I, I have no way to cleanse. Ah. I have no way to cleanse. Because I can't fall back and cleanse. I have no, so I got to get some points. Got it. Well, he can cleanse, but you wouldn't shoot. No, but I have to. Yeah, yeah, I have to control. Yeah, so I can't. Yeah. Right. So. Can I in melee? No, no, I can't. No, you can't because if you start to do something else, you. It's an action. It's an action. You, you, it's not and at the end of your turn. You can't. At, you know. you shoot. Yeah, but I if you do something shoot. else, you can't. It, 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 it fails the action. Yeah. If you, if you attack or shoot or anything after you've declared an action, it fails the yeah. action. It's stupid. So this is anti infantry. I'm so, I'm so stressed that that gonna happen. Infant infantry four, but he's only, what's his toughness? Uh, three. Three, three he's so two he's now. two. Yeah. So twos, or so threes, threes. Threes. Three. Three. Oh, that's a lot of twos, Johnny. That is a two, so that's a, that was that. He can make the 24th Mason. I've seen you do it before. Four, eight. 11. If he does, I just gotta charge him. Not gonna get him either way. He's too tough. Oh, no, he's dead. Five wins. He's too tough. Oh, not that though. Alright, so now we're going. Alright. We're gonna spend a CP. No, I, that's only in fighting, right? Don't have. Got it. The violator. Which one? Oh yeah, the violator. What the? What the? Clown makeup and stuff. I love that character. I love Spawn. We. Yeah. I tried to rewatch the original though the other day, and I was like, "Wow, this is way cheesier than I remember it being." It's amazing. Okay, border it's cheesy, and I like it that way. Right, yeah, go ahead. Border and and we gotta do it. Huh? Mortar and and slugger entropy here. 
And so two infantry there and everything else. And yep, got hitting it. on fours. Both hit. That works. All the Don Lee Gonzalez movies were like way better back then. In the ten to yeah. minus one. So ten to five, right? So twos? Uh, ten to five, yeah. So twos. I'll CP that. Oh, one. One to one. Uh, one in ball. Nope. Uh, D6 plus one. D6 plus one. Are you gonna? Mm, I'll CP it. It's good. Uh, now the heavy slugger is here. Hitting on fours because I'm hurt. That. Uh, yep, because I'm T2. Uh, in cover, four up armor. Is it AP anything? Uh, the heavy slugger is AP negative one. Okay, so one dies. Okay. Okay. All right. D6 plus three plus blast. Cause it, oh, good lord, this thing is killing me, small. <laughs> you round so many ones. Hitting on fours. Uh, but these are lethal hits. Two hit ones. What happens when you go from? So then you to death death one dies. Negative one. One dies. I like the back flip ones. Oh, thank you, Mason, for doing that. Okay. We got to do this the hard way, huh? So, melt the gun here, and then the other stuff. I do believe it's just melt the gun. In. So, the melt the gun hits. I'm all like, Mason, what's that under your foot? Oh, that's the cover. Oh, is that for mine? Yep. It is. Thank we'll you. put that back on my... So, melt the gun misses. I got it. Well, uh, why Sorry, is it doing this to me? Thank you, thank you. Maybe I'll sound better now. Mm. Plague bolt guns. Oh, that's better. But they're strength four and you're T5, so I need fives, right? Fives. Two. Two. No AP. Oops. That one's good. Good. Oh. He's good. <laughs> you know, we're going to have to... Oh, I... Battle shocked. You're battle shocked. I was like, oh, I'll just charge and tank shock him. No, I'm battle shocked. All right, we got to do it. Um, we are going to charge the plague marines onto your whatever that thing is. Yep, the uh, void re weaver. Oh, CP because I got enough. You're you're, you're the ones this turn. A nine, I think that gets me there. I think the black dice are banned you from the stream. Yeah, I'm down to one. Okay, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, nine gets me there. Five. Yeah, because a nine get no. So then with the pilot, I should yeah. be able to get it run in there. Right. And the tally man gives them plus one to hit. So Mason. This is this is the game. This is the game you've been waiting for. I thought you were gonna pull this guy, and since you didn't pull him, I'm gonna charge because nice. it's because I can't land on the wall. So I thought you were gonna pull him. I'm like, okay. Oh, I just wanted the cooler looking models. Six. That Bring gets me it on in, buddy. Here, let me tank shock you. I know I'm. <laughs> I'm sad about that. Okay. So, we both have a fight first, so Mason, you get to start with your person. All right, I'll do the, since I'm still Blitz. And which one are you going six, into? Nine, 12. So you got just him or the whole squad? The squad. The fight first squad. The fight first squad. Oh, this two, that goes away, I'll do reroll. Nope, two miss. All right, I quit. <laughs> uh, Three is to win, reroll single one. Caught. Reroll. Uh, looks like seven again. Neg, neg two, two damage. Are you telling me I need fives? Fives. They did good. So three die. Four die. Oh, four die. Yep. Four die, yeah. All right. Four die. Why, Mason? Why? The only thing in my army that could kill your troops is just. <laughs> 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 <It's a blender. laughs> okay. So we'll activate my fight first. Well, all my units are fight first, but you don't have two to interrupt, do you? No. So this guy will just pile them in. I have no. 
Okay. No CP. So he just gives them the fight first. So we got three with the heavy plague weapon. Okay. Is he still minus one to hit or is that no. gone? It's gone. Okay, so that hit eight to whatever you are. Two now. So you got three at neg two. One that goes through. Two damage. Takes down to one. Okay. My other chargers. Let's see how cool we can be here. Hits on four, so hitting on fives. No hits from the Plague Bridge Crawler. We're gonna, oh <laughs> we're gonna pile in. The tally man gives them plus one to hit. So we'll start with the three heavy plague weapons. Two. Yeah, look at all those ones. And they are lethal hits, yes. So that one. Strength. These are strength eight to so, P5. So three, it's yeah. So total three, That's four, good. five at neg two. Two go through it. So that's four damage. Uh, see if he blows. Nope. Actually, I'm not even sure if they blow. They do, I think they're deadly to mine one now. One, yeah. Yeah. You don't have sticky objective, do you? Nope. I can't get on there, so that doesn't one matter. Back. Nope. Okay, so now... Uh, no, that was a Void Weaver. Oh, got it. The shooty version. Now let's see if the Biologist Putrefier can do anything. Okay. He has... Four attacks. Le Come on, lethal hits, lethal hits, lethal hits. One lethal hit. Not minus one to hit, right? Correct? Nope. nope. Strength four to Two's your... Two right now. So we have three at neg nothing. Did. Okay, at least she got to attack twice. That's all I could really ask for. Yeah, that was okay. So that's that was the end of my turn five, right? Uh, turn four. So Jason, that's it. End I get four. one. Uh, the four for the deploying his home base, and no cleanse. Rough. Oh. It's a good game so far, though. I'm out to one CP. Two. Oh, oh, not yet, not yet. Let the producer do his work. Dang. I'm trying, Mason. I I pull the cards though. Pulling the cards for the turn. All right, so, so at the top, top of five, five I have Johnny, Johnny at 59 and Mason at 58. He's gonna get it. There's Def defend stronghold. Now, if I can stop Typhus from coming at. Oh, well, look what your other card is. Oh, assassination. <laughs> Huh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Uh, that's funny. So he's not close enough to the air. Oh, primary, 10 points. Because he's bell shocked. If he wasn't, though. You'd still. Oh, yeah. He, you would have got me. Um, he's got four. So, he'll go his full movement. You gotta assassinate and... Assassinate, what else? That has two wounds left. Yep, two wounds left. I gotta assassinate and defend my stronghold. So, type is the only thing that's even threatening my stronghold, so I should probably just put everything into him back here and defend my stronghold as much as I can. Uh oh. The Death Jester's coming along for the. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> Death Jester died. Is there a. Uh, there's a, uh, a character right there, isn't there? Yes, sir. The Tally Man. Okay. I just want to make sure I can see him ish. Yep. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Tally. Is Tally Man two, four wounds? Tally Man is. I will tell you here in one second. Four wounds. Well, no animal. Or a snow ball. Can't see over this. Can't see anything. I don't know where I want this guy because I won't be able to see anything. I'm looking at. Oh, I guess I could go straight this way. I'll see through this. What? 
Me? Me. Oh. Okay. So we got some action. Yeah. We got some action. Look at us. We're I, doing, look at this. Two hours and 37 minutes. I almost we're made doing. it, but not quite. So the tallyman uh, has four, you said, right? Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to shoot the death jester at. You got a six up. Um, when, you got one six left here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So death jester needs to hit him. Oh. He hits him all three times. No, but nice. Another ballistic skill. Uh, so this is where it becomes important. So these three hits, I'm going to turn one of them into a six to act one at a time. I'm going to be smart like Jason. So first one, no, turns into a six from his ability. Okay. The second one is a six. So he's six. Does he have feel no pain? No. He's dead. Four mortals. Yep. And the last one wounds as well, but... That Jess Jester is really paying off. I can see why people are taking mortals. Now, did the mortals spill over the unit? No, because of precision, right? Because I, 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 if you got, roll the third one because the mortals would spill over. It was over. just a regular wound. Then no. No, okay. Got, oh, because they would do four mortal, then the extra, two extra would go to the squad. Because mortals still spill over even if it's precision. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Go back. Yes. So, yep. Uh, hold on. Time out. Yes, put it back. So you had one regular wound? One regular wound. So I make the regular wound say first. Yep. And then the mortals come after. So if I say. damage. So let's see. So he saves it. So then, then the four kill him. Then the four mortals. Because if he didn't and he took two regular, then he would take two mortals and then two mortals would go over to the squad. Yep. Gotcha. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna not, try and do it right. It's not a complicated game. Um, here we go. Uh uh, so that's one character down. I need a second. I'm gonna shoot him into that character. The biologist putrefied? The guy that's by himself, yeah. Void cannon, all the reroll, hits, one wound. There. Uh, AP on it? Uh, three. So. Takes more damage. E that's, I think that's the biologist future for my friend. Okay, I was gonna shoot the rest of the cans at him, so they're wasted. Yep, yes, we wounds. And then we'll shoot at the other squad with the character with him. And we're gonna link fire. Oh, no, wait. Typhus first. Yeah. Typhus first. Uh, so I can link fire the big guns here, but then can the small gun shoot somewhere else? Yeah. Okay, so... But does he have to shoot him one at a time? Like one tank at a time? Or? Oh, yeah. Uh, just okay. like firing a normal. Just like so, firing a uh, normal. You just draw a line of sight from, from the one. Tank. Just his eyes we're using. So the first tank. The typhus. Eldar reroll. Uh, one hit. One wound. Six damage. Uh, typhus is going to CP that. Good call. C <laughs> typhus is going to die. Can. Stupid typhus, he says. Stupid typhus is kind of. I'm down die. to one, so you got two more tanks to fire, right? Uh, yeah. Because you did. And Wait, I'm... no, you said the one tank, the little shots were going. All the little shots are going to go over. Oh, this one, I went everything into him. Okay. But then these two, I'm going to use his eyes now and Can shoot him into here. That blade first? Knock him off right no. Now. No. Unfortunately, he did really go with the. Oh, well, this you can see him, so I am going to try to shoot this into yes. here. So I'll do that real quick. Yeah, you can't. Oh, I oh wait, can't. you're negative one to hit. I Oh, negative one to hit. Force, two hits, strength 12, one wound, Eldar reroll, two wounds. Yeah, it's not a blast weapon, correct? No. Void. It's a void can. It's just two shots. One goes through. Four damage. Isn't it a lance weapon? Uh, Without the keyword? Uh, yeah. Did not blow up. Oh, he died? Yeah, he had four left. Okay, and then this big tank into the two man to end it. Uh, one hit, one hit, a wound, and a reroll for Eldar. One wound to the, this unit. AP on it? Uh, AP four. It's the big gun. So Kills nice. just the dude. Yep. The three shots that are not heavy bolters. Oh, should not reroll that. Two wounds. Make one on the character. Damage each? Uh, two each. Does he have four or five? Better have five. Can you put him in the tray over there? <laughs> four. How missed. many characters was that? So on assassinate, I think I You maxed, maxed it. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's it. Turn. Wow. That was a crazy turn. Everything that needed to go through went through. That was nuts. So how many do you get for assassination? What's the max? Five? Five. Eight? Uh, I think five. Three hundred? Five. And then the fence roll is at the end of the game. It's at the end of the game. 
Okay. So Johnny could still possibly get it without Typhus. It'll be hard though. There's no way I can get Defense Stronghold. I'm too slow. That's the whole thing. They're too slow. All okay. Right. Johnny's got uh, 10 primary or? Mm, no, because. Oh, well, that's at the end of it. We're, this yeah. is the mission we're yeah. at the end. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to get 15 probably. So you we're going to see. Positioning. I don't, because nothing is going to affect anything. So we're just going to move these guys up. You are 14 points behind Mason right now. So if he hits a 15, uh, primary wins the game. Uh, yeah. And if he cleanses to objectives, he there's auto. no way that there's no way for me to get. Oh, easy. Move here, cleanse. And then you're going to get 10 points regardless with a cleanse. You're at 13, so you're only one point behind now. So you just need one more objective. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm saying. There's no, these guys move forward. This one's already mine because it's sticky. sticky, yeah. So you don't need anything on that. No. So there's no. So without these guys, they need to make a charge. That's what it comes down to. And that's, there's no way. I just no. measured, you're 18 away. So now. Um, oh, this is actually one unit can take two objectives. Right? Well, I, you know what I could do? Hold on. I wonder if. These guys alive? Yeah. Yeah. I have, I'm going to, I'm going to, I would have gained the CP. Yeah. Then I spend it to insane bravery them. Okay. So I'd be at one still. So you never fail it. Got it. Yeah. I wonder if I could. No, I just, I can't move that far. So we're just going to put them a client. We're going to deploy teleport Homer here. We are here to deploy teleport Homer. Okay. And that's all I can do because I have this. I'll just put it on there so people can see it. Um, because there's no other. Because those guys are just out of position, and I knew it once I had to go back and deal with that thing. What if? Well, well, sorry, don't mean to be moving shit like that. Uh, right here, these guys were here, right? Yeah. So what if? No, they're right here. They're right there. So could they move six? No. I'm still not. I don't. I was gonna say you have to make a charge somewhere. Yeah, but if I charge, I don't get the cleanse, so it doesn't matter. But if you get an extra objective, it's five extra points. And if you can cleanse and get an extra objective, you win the game. Yeah, but if I charge, I don't. I can't cleanse. I know, but because uh, you teleport homers were four, right, or three? Three. So you got five, ten, thirteen right now. Right. So all, but so you need to make a charge. Would is, are they within charge range? No, not at all. They're damn. 20. <laughs> that's so close. Yeah. That's You're so close. That's why I thought I was close there, but I'm not. Uh, hmm. Wow. A one point game. And what uh, your secondaries are fixed. Yep. One point game. Yeah. That was good. There's no, I just don't have enough. Wow. Wait. Um. Keep looking. I'll look for a second. Hold on. What if you, what if you could, what if you move up here and then could you charge this? Yeah, but if I get a big enough charge, it pulls me off the objective. Uh, but then if you kill it, because it only has two... Wait, because it takes at the end you, of the phase, right? And you'll swing back, yeah. Wait, let's try this. Okay, so, let's try this. So, where, so at the end of the movement so phase... Where were they? They were here, right? Yeah. They weren't. They didn't move very far. You were like here. So, yeah. Because you were just out yeah. of three of the objective. Yeah. Right there. So if I... So if you move six this way... So, yeah. And I leave a guy on the thing. Yep. Like that, something like that. So then it check. So then it checks at. Okay. So now at the end of the movement phase, it checks. Yep. So now I have this, right? Yes. Okay. And then, and we're gonna miss the. No, no, this will work. This will work. So as long as you make the charge here, kill this, and control both these objectives, you'll win the game. But if I make the charge big enough, I can't. They have to make base to base contact. If you roll too big of a charge, but even a, then big, I see even a big charge that's a 10, he's just making it to the model, and then you need six to get back. Yeah, but no. So you need like a six. Yeah, so, all right, let's see. You need, you need a mid-range charge. All right, this is it, guys. This is the only way it'll happen. So okay. we're going to put these guys on the objective just so people can see, even just, though it's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky. We're, this is a long shot, but we're going to see an 11. So, I think we can make it work. No, so, no, no. What we're gonna do? Can we, CP okay. reroll. Okay, go for more of a man, more of a medium roll. We're looking for a six to seven. Would be, would be nice. A four. Ugh. That's it. That's the game. All right. So, but you. So it's a one point game. Wow. On there. Yeah. 
So one point game. All right, so we'll wrap this up. We got it done. I was surprised because I thought I was going to uh, be a lot longer on this and he did really good with moving the army fast, and I think you've made some really great plays. Good game. Thing. Great game. This couldn't get it. Oh, you, and Mason gets three for defend stronghold, right? So it's not a one point game, right? Oh, I forgot. Uh, three for defend stronghold. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, whatever. It's a four point game, but yeah, it's fine. It was a great game. Really close. Anytime you're within five points of each other, you know it was a slobber knocker. Yeah. We got some quick did, announcements. Did it get. Did it get uh, unfrozen? No, the mouse is still lagging really bad. I can update it on my. Uh, on my, uh... um, but some quick announcements, guys. Uh, April 27th, RTT in Reading at uh, Matrix Cards and Games. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, May 18th. If you feel what you got, what it takes. Mason, you're going to be there? <sighs> yeah, five rounds, one day. We'll see if my back can handle all the pain. And you come and bring your Advil as well, and we'll, we'll, yep. we'll battle it out. And then, um... and then don't forget, we do have in the far future. Yeah. What? I can, do you want me to add the points, guys? Hey, Laura. Okay. So, um, August, August, we're going to have our GT, August 17th and 18th. That's yes. our next GT. GT. And the beautiful part about the Iron Man is if you win the Iron Man, you're going to get a free entry into the August GT or the November GT. Your choice. Your choice. You choose. Um, get a free GT, get your free ITC points. It's going to be the time to do it. And to be honest, I think the game's going to feel a lot more competitive now that we have these layouts. It's going to be a lot harder for you, Mr. Set Up the Boards, but... No, no. All the all. team sets up the boards. Oh, maybe. All... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, RBBR, but we're going to be setting up a lot of boards, but it'll be a lot of fun. And thank you guys for tuning yeah. in. This so, was, uh, what was game. the. Do we have a final score, gentlemen? 82. 80, yeah, 82. 82. Did you give him his three for Defend Stronghold? At Mason at 86. 86. There we go. So we'll, we'll update that score. So it's on there. Both um, both players in the perfect. 80s. It's a crazy high scoring game. So great perfect. job. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, Mason, what do you think went right there for you? Uh, the, the, besides the fifth turn going really hot and dice, like I was just like, this shoots this. Oh, it's dead. This shoots this. It's yeah, dead. it was. This shoots, I'm like, OK, but if, if you could have definitely pulled it out if I went and went oh, so hot, like if all those troops didn't die and they could have just moved over. Yeah, I think tactical would have not worked for me. It wouldn't have. It would have been too. You would. You would have to take away more uh, nurglings just so you could deep strike them in different places and you know. Yeah, because they're too slow. Yeah, you would have to have three units of nurglings at minimum. Okay, perfect. Thanks everyone for Thank watching. Don't forget like, share, subscribe. You're the best.